have you completely, finally gone out of your mind? Now you listen to me, you lousy little demon that flies by day. You have taken my peace away from me. I will frustrate you and I'm going to kill you. But not on the street, not by my car. I'm guessing that this is the point you expect me to cover in here. I'm guessing that this is the point I'm expected to start shaking. I'm guessing that this is the point you really expect me to probably run away in fear. Hello? Madam Gold? Have you suddenly forgotten that I stepped in front of your moving vehicle and I'm still standing right in front of it? What does that tell you? Debbie, that tells me you are. No, it tells you that I think nothing of you. I mean, absolutely nothing at all. That even if you were to be a bog, you cannot. I mean, you don't have the power to crush me. Then you must be the biggest fool on earth. If you think I am incapable of harming you, then you are the only human being born of a woman without a brain. Then do your worst. Yes, bring it on. Show me the demon that you made of. Madam Gold, if you think you can do just about anything to me, go ahead and do it. I assure you that this place is cool. No one is going to interfere. Go on, make a move. Show me the demon in you. Oh, Davy, Davy. Davy, Davy, my beautiful, sweet, innocent, naive fool. You do all this because of a man. Who? A man who left you for me. <laughs> How foolish can you be? No. It has absolutely nothing to do with foolishness. I am fighting for my man. Damn it! He is my man. My age-appropriate man and not yours. Oh, uh, your man, you said. Your man! Let the world hear her calling your man. You do not have a man, my dear. If he can, look at all this. Dump you for an older woman like me. Then you are without a man, my dear. Now listen and listen very attentively, Madam Gold. If you do not take your blood sucking fangs off my man, my fiance, I will take everything away from you. You already complained that I had taken away your peace of mind. But you see, this time, I will take everything, I mean, everything away and I will not stop until I break you. She will break me. Yes, she will actually break me. <laughs> I quiver in fear. I wish you success. <laughs> I hope you succeed in taking your man away from me. Whereby you fail, then will I be forced to put in my blood sucking friends in your veins, your arteries, and I will suck you. I will suck you. I will suck your blood through your heart till you are dry. Bring it on. Come on, woman. Bring it on, old witch. Sharpen your knives. Bring out your fangs. Because I am coming. Even if it takes the last drop of my blood, I will bring you down. I said, get out of my house. My God! Just like that? Oh yes, just like that. What part of English do you not understand, mister? I do not want you anymore. I don't find you attractive anymore. It is done. We are done. Over. I just... Shoo, shoo, shoo. I do not need you anymore. 
Please, my love. Don't do this. Do what? Get out! What is all this? Get out of my house, please! What have you done? All we've been through. You know who? Uh, look at me. I need you. Can you get away from me? I need you. I need you. You need your man and not me. Get out! Just look at you. Take a good look at yourself. You look horrible. Very ugly. What the hell is wrong with you? You look like that. I don't, I don't know. I've been to the hospital and they can't find anything wrong with me. Good for you. Please, my lord, I need you. Are you mad? I do not need you in my life anymore. I want you to get this into your thick school. It is over. Now get out. I don't want to be late for the airport. I'm traveling. Where are you going to? How is that your business? Oh, you get out! I would like to call with you, please. No, you listen to me. Listen. I'm going to say this for the very last time. Leave my house. Do you want me to call the military on you? I'm sure you know what they will do to you when they get to this place. In the next five seconds, get out and leave my compound now. One. Two. Out. Oh, oh don't sit on my couch. No, no. Oh. I said get up. Out. Salvation. Leave my house! Huh? Mama, what's happening? Are you traveling? Sir? If I leave my house. Leave, please, I don't want to touch you. I don't want to touch you. Who's that? Hello, please. Oh, please don't touch me. Please, what have I done? Don't ever touch me if you don't want to get it hot. But we shared good times together. Yes, we had good times together. Then what happened? Alan, we are terrible together. Leave my house. Please, I beg you. I can't even believe I had please, something to do with you, somebody like you. When? How? Oh, please leave. Look! Please leave my house. Leave. Please, I, I love you, okay? Please. Get out. Get out. 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 I love you, please. Please. Out. Please. 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 Please believe I had something to do with this in my city. Where was I? Was I really my real time? Get out of my house. You disgusting element. Yeah? Yeah, please. Get your hand get, 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 get off of my dress. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, yes, I'm ready to go, but I'm having a big trouble here. Yes. There's this stupid nonsense elements that is proven stubborn to exterminate. Please, my lord. Yes. Get out. Come on, get, get, get out of this place. And, and to him, he, he seems so difficult and I don't know what to... Please, my lord, please. Please don't do this. Please. Yes, to him, he thinks that we are in a romantic relationship. Can you imagine? Hold on. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You men use women and dump them, right? This is what I have done to you. Aren't you getting it? I've used you. I no longer have need for you. You are empty. I've trained you. Okay, tell me. If I, if I bring you in, what will you be doing here? Nothing! Now get out! That's the wrong thing to say, please. It's not for. Then you're heartless. If you're giving me all your heart, you are heartless. Oh, my God. 
I'm gonna crush you. Believe me, I sure will. Please don't leave me. Please. Please don't go. Uh, see, I have nothing. I have nothing without you. You're my life. You're my life, please. See, I don't think I could be the pretty well if you leave me. Please. Please. Just not in me. Who cares? If, if, who cares if you're nothing without me? Who cares if you can't live without me? To me, you're just a piece of trash. That has already been disposed. Get lost! Is it good for my life? Is it good for my soul? Oh, be careful who you mingle with out there. Though some come just to help you, others come to ruin you. They are dangerous. So dangerous. Dangerous. So dangerous. Dangerous. All that glitters are not gold. They are dangerous. So dangerous. Dangerous. So dangerous. To bring down every man, they are dangerous like blood sucking demons. They are brutal with no good intention. They are dangerous, 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 so dangerous. dangerous. They can kill you slowly. They are dangerous, they are dangerous, dangerous, so dangerous. I was beginning to wonder what kept you guys so long. Oh, Lord. You don't blame us. After all, we all had an experience from some haggard looking man. For real? I thought it was only me. Oh, huh? You too? <laughs> of course! Even, even me. You should have seen how I drove away from my house. Like a woman running away from the law. Gosh. Oh, well, <laughs> you know, technically. After all, with it to those men. And considering the fact that we are leaving them behind in the city, I feel we are running away from the law. It is not as if they didn't ask for it. They wanted quick money, isn't it? Just like us. <laughs> <laughs> and we gave it to them exactly uh, how they deserved it. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the very first time I met Poor. <laughs> completely say that I'm not guilty of what he has become today because oh. I know I'm the one who took out everything from him. Uh -oh. oh yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. I remember Paul in his prime. I wonder if there's any woman who can resist a man like you. You know what? Because you have everything a woman needs in a man. Wow. Yeah. You know baby, you kill me with these words you say to me. <laughs> You know, 
I couldn't really give it to you that much, you know. Uh, with this period, you know, I've been really down with malaria. Mm. I know. Even with the malaria, you dealt with me. Seriously? Yes. I love you. I love you too, baby. I love you too. And you know what? Next week I'll be taking you out for shopping. Oh my god, don't just go there. Come on, I won't spoil you a little. <laughs> <laughs> It is not as if I didn't find him attractive. Mm -hmm. Of course I did. Mm -hmm. But now, <laughs> he is nothing but a piece of an empty shell. Just like the others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, I remember Frank during his days. Oh. <laughs> Sweetheart? Yes, baby? You are the stalked. An Amazon of a man. A very sexy. Very sexy in everything. Hmm. You are capable of handling a woman. I love that. So by there that confirm that you love you are handling. Hmm. But after uh, everything. <laughs> you? You are a woman killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Uh, I can't wait to have you again. Again. Um, again. Hmm. So you can have me forever. As long as you want. Hmm. If you say so. <coughs> Come here. I got everything I wanted from him. Until I expected, he started fading bit by bit. Mm. Until he arrived on what he is today. Well, this man, they always think that they are wise until they meet with people like us. Women who are very intelligent and crafty. <laughs> well, that's because they think they are using us. But they are the one being used. <laughs> Just like John met his two. Can you believe this? He actually thought that I will get married to him. That thing. Get my, that that thing. Can you imagine? <laughs> You're the woman who made me complete. The woman who made me understand that a woman is created to complete a man. You also make me understand that without a woman, I'm helpless. Please be my wife. And I vow in my honor to love you forever. It has never occurred to me that a day like this will come in my life. Thank you for loving me. I love you forever too. Yeah. I bet he was thinking marriage to me would give him all the control to my money. Mm -hmm. Oh well, it's a question of who is using who. Oh. You, know, <laughs> you, know, you know what what most men don't know is that it's not all women in this world that care about husband getting married mm. or children. Mm -hmm. Women who have come face to face with goddess of wealth and happiness. Mm -hmm. 
who can never be intimidated by anything. Mm -hmm. Like us. Mm -hmm. We are part of those women. That's right. Exactly <laughs> right. Your point, girl. And we shall remain in that group forever. Forever. I mean, why giving yourself the trouble of getting married when you know you can have as many as as, an, as many men as you can <laughs> at your beck and call? Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, it's to our benefits, right? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why bother having children, you know, when there is lots and lots of pleasures in this life that you can have and have it all to yourself? Oh, we have money. Mm. We have power. And thanks to all the greedy men in this city mm. that we are about to vacate. Just in their next lives, they will learn to be earnest. Maybe in their next life, they will learn that all that glitters are not gold, mm -hmm. silver, or diamond. Oh, so, yeah? Their lives are what? Mother Ruby. Oh exactly. my god, I love that rhymes. I love that rhymes. <laughs> I Maybe <laughs> they will get to learn that it's not of a woman is to be used and destroyed. Oh. 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 Maybe they will get to learn that not of a woman is entirely a fool. Oh, oh come on. Maybe oh. finally they will get to learn that where men are evil, women, women. are more oh. deadly. I love that. Uh. Yeah. Just <laughs> like us. <laughs> where, where, where? Good radiance mm -hmm. to this city mm. and all the men in it. Mm. <laughs> all right, then we move. We oh, move. No, 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 ladies. We don't move anymore. We fly. We fly. We fly. We fly. Can kill you slowly. They are dangerous, dangerous, so dangerous. They work for the devil. See, all flashy things are good for the eyes. But ask yourself, is it good for my life? Is it good for my soul? Be careful, you mingle without them. Though some come just to help you, others come to ruin you. So dangerous, dangerous, so dangerous, dangerous. All that glitters are not gold. They are dangerous, so dangerous, dangerous, so dangerous. dangerous. So be careful, you roll away. Hey, these women are evil. And their mission is to bring down every man. They are dangerous, like blood sucking demons. They are. Can kill you slowly. They are dangerous, dangerous, so dangerous. They work for the devil. See, all flashy things are good for the eyes. But ask yourself, is it good for my life? Is it good for my soul? Be careful, you mingle without them. Though some come just to help you, others come to ruin you. So dangerous, dangerous, so dangerous, dangerous. All that glitters are not gold. They are dangerous, so dangerous, dangerous, so dangerous. So be careful when you roll away.
finally, we are in a suburb yes. to conquer men of low moral. Mm -hmm. oh. Men who will readily sacrifice all the women in their lives for money. Mm -hmm. Men who are ready to sacrifice their vitals and finally give their lives for money. They do this without remorse because they claim it is a man's word. <laughs> and now that we are here, the table has turned. They will know exactly what it means to be used by women. Mm -hmm. Yes. The table has turned. The table has turned. The table has turned. The table has turned. <laughs> Hello. Mm -hmm. The ladies are in town. Come with your keys. See, I am tired. I am simply tired. If you're tired, I am I'm frustrated. And if you guys are frustrated, I am completely messed up. And at this point, it is suicidal. I have nothing, absolutely nothing. Tall full grown man. A first class graduate of computer science, yet nothing. It's bad enough that I can't even get a job for myself. Come on, Yahoo. I am still a field Yahoo boy. I can't do anything for myself. Nothing. What about me? A graduate of mechanical engineering, yet I have ended up a mechanic. Today is the last day of the week, yet I have not seen a single customer in my shop. Not even one. I'm a failure. A failure. That's what I am. You, you guys just make me laugh. You both keep making noise in my ear. For goodness sake, I am the best graduating student of the University of Nigeria. For goodness sake. I'm the best graduating student of criminal law and I have nothing to show for it, but I just, I just ended up as a common cleaner. Huh? For goodness sake, I just feel like taking my life right now. I'm frustrated. I'm depressed. I'm angry. We really need to find a solution to this problem. We need to find a way out of this mess. We are men, for goodness sake. Sammy, if you have a solution, I'm all ears. You know, the only thing I can think of right now, the only suggestion that is coming to my head right now is for us to go begging. Begging? Are you insane? You guys may, ne may never have noticed, but in this wretched country of ours, it seems like that's the only lucrative business. Lucrative business? So we're supposed to do what? Wear rags and carry containers and go on the road and start begging. Can you imagine the solution a, a, a graduate is coming up with? You, you, you are simply sick, Darlington. See, yeah, are, you, are, you, are you not already a beggar? You're not a beggar? No, I'm not. The food you ate this morning, who gave it to you? Mm. My girlfriend now. Did you give her money to prepare? No, but I... But what? But nothing. Nicholas, there's no difference between you and a beggar. A beggar is even better than you because at least they don't depend on their woman. There's no point defending what you should not be defending. We are not going to become beggars again. Simple. Let me come to you, Sammy. This shirt you're putting on, who, who gave it to you? Ah. It's my girlfriend, but... But what? You must just sh shut the hell up with this butt! It's missing me off! You must stop using the word butt! Are you not ashamed of yourself? They cannot buy shit for me. Mm -hmm. Oh god, okay. Okay. Did you guys know how I paid my house rent this year? How? Simple. My girlfriend! She's love now. <laughs> Don't make him a beggar. See, if you guys are comfortable begging, I, talented, I am not. You girls keep gisting and that's why you're still not gone. Wait, 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 wait. What are we really doing? Huh? 
We are cooking. Just in case you've not noticed. That is not what I mean. Take a good look at us. We are exceptionally beautiful young women. I am here, here doing all this. Doing this for... Hold up. You mean cooking for our men? That is still not what I am talking about. So what then are you talking about? Our lifestyle. Look at us. Slaving for this man. Doing everything we can to make them happy in spite of the fact that they've done nothing for us in return. Huh. Are we supposed to live like this? We are not even married to this man for crying out loud. Rachel, don't you love your man? Don't you love Nicholas? How can you even ask me that? Of course I love Nicholas. There, you have your answer. Michelle, it's not like I don't see other men. I see rich men, cute men who want me. Trying to sweep me off my feet. But I'm here with Nicholas. One time he hurt me and I wanted to leave him. I just couldn't. <sighs> Same here. Mm -hmm. I actually almost left Darlington. Mm -hmm. For a more handsome guy with lots of money. <sighs> but to cut the whole story short, I ran back to him. I guess money and beauty are not exactly what makes good relationship. <laughs> money and beauty does not define love. What about you, Michelle? Have you ever tried living some? <laughs> every day. Every, every day? day. Mm -hmm. Every day and every moment I see him carrying that laptop of his. Looking for who to scam. Oh, my dear. Anyways, maybe that's why he has not cashed out yet. Because God does not want me to leave him. Huh. Is this how it's going to be then? Is this how our story will continue? I mean, is this the way it's going to end? We have life. Once there is life, there is hope. And once there is hope, there is a future. So no, this isn't how our story is going to end. I believe there is something for us in the future. I hope so. I seriously hope so. Stand up and go and cook. Let's cook. Should I put the water for the rice? Oh, I'll put the water there. Oh, dear God, please don't let him succeed. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing is wrong. What happened? It's, a, it's nothing, okay? It's nothing. Sam, not talk to me. It's nothing. I'll be back, okay? Just. Oh. <sighs> God. God, I hope he has not succeeded in scamming someone. I'm going to restart. Oh, really? So fast? Yes. Ah. We're good to go. Mm. Sure. I am going to try it and um, definitely among a whole lot of things. 
Excuse me. Oh, that, that's nothing. Excuse me. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for doing my car. I, I should take all this money. Oh, come on. It's just a token of my appreciation. If you hadn't stopped by, I would be here stranded with no means of transportation. I'm new to the city anyway. If not that, man, what you're offering me is too much. Much. But this is not what I am offering you. This is a gift. Talking about offerings, I would love you to come to my house. I have an offer for you. An offer? Yes. Come on. Oh, yeah. I think you should have this. Mm. I'll be expecting you. I hope you don't keep me wet. Hello, ma. Yes, I'm done. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm done cleaning. I, I, I bought, yeah, I watched the class too. Okay, ma. Okay, ma'am. I'm sorry, Silver. That's okay. Valentine, I actually invited you over here to make you an offer. For another job? You could call it that. Trust me, you're going to be earning more than a whole lot of job holders in this country. Um, what kind of job is that, ma'am? I'm sorry, um, see you guys. So sorry. Darling, the kind of job that will make you a rich man and me a happy woman. I told you respect, man. I guess you have a girlfriend. And you love her very much. Yes, ma'am. And you rather wish to stay poor and miserable than looking for what to do to make money so you can be able to keep her by your side forever. Would you rather sit back and watch her being snatched away from you by another man? With all due respect, ma, I, I wish to take my leave. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. One million naira for a start. Guys, I could not believe it. It still feels like I am in a trance. 
everything happened so fast, I could not even hide my surprise in front of Mitchell. See, for someone who has had a lot of bad experiences, I cannot believe the kind of luck I had today. Hey, 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 hey. Sam, hold on first. Just hold on. Damp your excitement. You mean this woman contacted you from nowhere just like that? Yes. My guy, I'm telling you something now. My guy, this, this smells like setup. I beg you. That's not even possible. Samuel, listen. Getting a message from an unknown woman claiming that she's living in this town Offering you a sum of three million naira. Three million naira, Samuel. This is is set up, bro. You guys seem to have forgotten about my degree and no. everything I can do with it. Nobody can set me up. Nobody can set me up. You know what? See, relax. I would definitely go and see this woman, but not without cleaning up myself and everything that has to do with me first. As far as I'm concerned, at this point, life is all about taking risks. And there is nothing wrong with trying new things from time to time. You guys relax now. You guys, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if, if it's something in the air, but I got this strange offer from a woman today. Yes. Me too, bro. You mean you got an offer? Yeah. <laughs> so, why am I not currently getting the details? Thank you. Thank you. Guys, see, eh? last last, today has turned out to be a very good day. Good day, huh? <laughs> yes, now. Oh, were you expecting me to doubt the motives of these women and, you know, ask you not to go anywhere close to them? Please. That would just be insane. Samuel. See, don't deceive yourselves. We are miserable. Look at you. Look at you. Look at me. And as the day goes by, nothing seems to be getting any better. Nicholas, this woman simply asked you to come to her house. It's not as if she has made you any strange offers yet. And you, Darlington, are you trying to tell me that ever since you started dating Daniela, you have never cheated on her? See, this woman is simply offering you a way to enjoy yourself and also make Daniela happy. See, trust me, once the money starts coming in, she's going to be a very happy woman. Samo, Samo, this is insane. Samo, you've completely gone mad. Yes, I have gone mad. I have gone mad because without money, there is no sanity. And neither is there any life. Oh. See, eh? I don't know about you two, but as for me, I am definitely going to give this meeting a try tomorrow. Okay. If that guy has succeeded in scamming someone, I swear I'm going to leave him. I will leave Sammy, I'm not even joking. Michelle, you need to calm down. You can't solve any problem by being this restless. Okay, let me understand you. Did you see anything suspicious? Or did he perhaps say anything to you which made you suspect him? Rachel, he was acting suspicious. Huh? We were together, chilling. All of a sudden, he picked up his laptop and left. Why? Because he didn't want me to see anything, that's why. Or maybe because he felt you were bugging him. Seriously, Daniela. What? Oh, I, I'm sorry. It's just that I can't find a suitable way to calm her down. Michelle, you are overthinking this seriously. I am not. I am not. I can feel it in my gut. Samuel is on to something. I know what I am saying. Ah, fine. If there is anything suspicious, we will find out from our men. Right, Daniela? Right. Thank you. That's literally all I wanted to hear from you both. Thank you so much. Always. 
<laughs> so now that we have that under control, shall we now proceed with the reason we are gathered here? To more money? Money. More men to devour. <laughs> to make dry. And we'll give them. They're about to show no mercy. They are dangerous. Dangerous. So dangerous. They can kill you slowly. They are dangerous. Dangerous. So dangerous. They work for the devil. See all flashy things are good for the eyes. But ask yourself, is it good for my so power? Is it good for my soul? Be careful, you mingle with real them good. <laughs> I trust you. In all, I must say, is a good day. A damn good day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, Madam Ruby, yeah. you haven't still told us about your own Congress. Oh, it was good. Hmm. It was real damn good. Really? Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, let me guess. You've done one of your online magics again. Oh, yeah. Right? Okay, let's just see that I know where to look. To get what I want. Yeah, like you do. Go get all. You do. <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, those ladies. <laughs> Talking about that, mm. what about gold? Has anyone heard from her? That's true. Not me. Same here. Gold. What could she be up with this mm. time? What is this? I said I do not need you. What part of the English do you not understand? Ah, your mere sight alone is annoying. Get out! Madam! Huh. Are you deaf? Your face is so annoying! Gas! Who sent you here? Madam, I don't understand. What do you consign my face to my work? Not just your face. I made a mistake. Your eyeballs, ah! your skin, your hands, your legs, everything about you is so irritating. Get out. Hey, what up? Please, do you want a plumber or come and leave us in a job? Now you listen to me. I want you to leave my house with your ugly face. Do not return here again. Get out. But let me just tell you. In this entire Asaba, eh? I'm the best. That's why my office choose me and sent to you. Oh, your best is nothing to me. Oh, gosh. Can you please leave my house? Please, madam. Can you allow me to do my job before you condemn me, Biko? In my house? Eh? With your ugly face? Now get out. Get out! You look like a demon that flies by day out. Just, 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 just allow me, madam. Get out! You are annoying, very irritating! Turn around, out! What is all this? Oh, gracious God! Ugly men everywhere! Oh. Now, where can I find the kind of man I'm looking for in this Asaba? Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh. Do you know I love you? Mm. How will I know when you literally wake me up and send me back to bed with the same word? Well, I'm afraid I just can't get tired of saying those words to you. Mm. That makes me a lucky girl. No. Oh, I'm lucky. That makes me a lucky guy. Oh, God. Don't be cocky. You have not married me yet. But I will. I'm just waiting for the right time. I need you to please exercise little patience. Maybe I was only joking. I knew you were. But at the same time, I need to announce these words to you so you know how serious I am. If I had my way, if I had money, 
If I had my means, I would have made you my wife before now. I love. I love you, my queen. You're my woman. You're my world. My queen. If I have everything equal, with your patience, I'd make you the queen that you really are. You don't have to stretch yourself, my baby, okay? I love you, and I'm going to be here for you. I'm going away. Stop. <laughs> Mitchell, please step aside. How is it so difficult for a woman to understand that a man has got to do what a man has to do? Sammy, you have not answered the question I asked. I asked you where you are off to. Or go answer me first. I am going to look for a job. Why is that so difficult for you to understand? Mitchell, I am going out there to look for a job. And right now you are standing in my way. Okay, you are going to look for a job. No problem. So tell me, this job, eh, where is it located? As in, where is the office and who is the manager? I don't know. All I know is that I'm going to look for a job. Oh, you don't know? Samuel, Samuel, you are lying to me. Samuel, you are lying to me. I feel it in my bones that you are lying to me. Samuel, what are you up to now? Eh? Where were you yesterday? What happened yesterday? What were you doing yesterday? I feel it in my bones that you don't want my progress. Have a nice day, my Sa love. Oh, Samuel! Hmm? Samuel, I'm not... I'm... Samuel, you're not leaving this house. See, stop it. I don't know what you're talking about because you're acting crazy. Excuse me? You describe me as acting crazy simply because I'm asking you what your friend Samuel has been up to? I see. Apparently, it is not so much about what Samuel is up to as opposed to what it is all of you are up to. Like I said, you are crazy. Excuse me. Wait, 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 wait. Let me understand you. Where do you actually think you're going? As you can see, I'm dressed for work. No, you are not. Come on, Nicholas. That's not how you dress for work. So you now have a code of dressing for me, right? You've suddenly fashioned out a, a, a uniform for me to wear to work. Nicholas, we both know you're trying to deviate from the subject at hand, and that is very childish. Do better. Stop it already. Now you've insulted me. You just insulted me, Rachel. How do you expect me to begin my day like this? Talk, tell me how. What makes you think you're actually going to step foot out of this house without telling me exactly where you're Says headed? who? Says me, Nicholas. <sighs> you're mad. Don't you respect Daniela? You are a mad woman. An insane human being and a completely crazy personality. What is wrong with you? Huh? When you are done talking, come and pass, let me see. Get out of my way. Not until you tell me what I want to know. There's nothing to tell. Absolutely nothing. Someone is not hiding anything. I am not hiding anything. And if you don't mind, I'm, I'm running late for work. Dressed like this? Do you think I am stupid? And how am I supposed to dress? Is this the way you usually dress to work? All oh, corporate as if you are going for a dinner party. And Sammy Darlington! I'm just wearing my casuals. I'm not even putting on my thoughts. What is wrong with you? Eh? Everything is wrong with me. I don't even know what is wrong with me. All I know is that you're not living here today. You're not going anywhere. Really? Yes, really. Uh, you're becoming too clingy for my liking. And your personality disgusts me. That means you need to get a life. Please. This is the devil's semen. Miss it with any cream of your choice. Apply it on your whole body including your face. It has the power to attract any man of your choice. Any man. If that said man is in love with another, his love for you will overshadow that love.
you will not only be his woman, you will also become his God. Trust him. <laughs> All the women of power are using the oil of the devil's semen. Let us Saba submit to the supremacy of the women of valor. Is this a joke or what? I don't understand. The folder I opened for you contains the company's young male models. Is this supposed to be an insult or what? Now you are getting me confused. You feel they can't model for you? Take! It's obvious you do not take! You do not have what I want. Then you need to tell me exactly what you want. What I have just shown you are the best that we have. Really? Yes. Then I'm not supposed to be in a Saba. <sighs> Madam, you requested our company provide you with high class models to represent the new product you're going to bring into the market. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what we did. Oh, come on. And the pictures I just showed you were not just high-class models, but these guys are international models. I mean, top-notch. <laughs> come on. You haven't even taken a good look at all the photographs. Huh? Are you done? My darling, your company is stupid. Such a useless company. Fake! Oh yes, you are fake! I beg your pardon, ma'am. Now you listen to me. Whoever that set up that company made a huge mistake. In fact, he has succeeded in making mockery out of all the modeling company in the world. Now I will not sit back and condone more insults from you. Get out. Oh, wow. Well. Are you deaf? Get the hell out of my house. With all due respect, madam, you need help. Yes, you are a crazy woman. You know what? I really do not know what you are doing walking the streets, but I hope that one day you will have the good sense to get yourself checked into an insane asylum. <laughs> I like that. I like your English. Mm. I think you'll end up becoming a preacher. <laughs> now you get the hell out of my house before I show you the other side of Madame Gould. Of course, it will be my pleasure, Madame Gould. Is coming to a sub going to bring my water low? Why is it that nothing is working? Someone loves me. He loves me. I have to believe that. I wish I could say the same thing. But unfortunately for me, I can't because I have no idea what Nicholas feels for me these days. Oh, please, guys. What about me? I have a strong feeling that Darlington will soon leave me. I don't even know what to do about it. This cannot be happening. I refuse to believe this is happening. This is insane. We've all given so much of our lives to these men. Exactly. 
we've literally done everything there is to be done just to strengthen our love with this man and we have sacrificed years of our lives doing that so they can't just turn their backs on us they cannot even try it okay in a worst scenario where our fear becomes reality what are we going to do Who we have here. I was beginning to think that you changed your mind about accepting my offer. <laughs> Good afternoon, madam. You're welcome. Thank you, ma. Hmm. You mind if I drag a hug? Uh, Come here. Okay. <laughs> I never knew a hawk would be so sweet. Come on, don't make me shy. I know it's nice having you in my home. Sit down. Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. Can I please sit close to you? Sure you can. I asked a question and nobody has managed to answer me. That is because we can't just sit here and assume the worst. Oh, I really hope he's not doing anything crazy. I do wish to know what Nicholas is up to at this point in time. Yes. Because these men are gradually becoming a thorn in our flesh. I'm telling you. Hi. I must confess. I am the luckiest woman on earth to have you here. Thank you very much for your invitation, Ma. Come on. Why don't you act like a gentleman that you are? Give me a peck. I love it when young men, especially handsome ones, Show me affection. Oh. What? Wow! It's as if I've done the main thing. Really? Yes. In that case, we have to go inside. I need to have you in me. Come on. Okay, let's go. All these years I have been with Danitin. The thought of cheating on him has never crossed my mind. Daniela, so you've automatically assumed he is cheating on you and you feel cheating on him as well is the best way to go about this? I never said that. So what are you saying? The mere fact that I don't even know where he is, right now as we speak, is making me feel sick. Hello, ma. Y yes, I'm, I'm already here. know what exactly I am going to do for you but all I know is that you're going to be happy in this union come here come on 
<laughs> what is it? Are you okay? Yeah, I I am okay. Oh. Just that I felt this kind of sensation that I have never felt before. <laughs> That's the sensation of love. Oh. It comes only when you are with the one connected to your soul. <laughs> Come on. I have practically given my life, my soul, my love to Darlington. He cannot just wake up one morning and decide to hurt me. He can't do that. That won't be fair. Madam, you applied your break forcefully. Is everything all right? Yes, I'm fine. No, 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 I'm not fine. Oh, my belly. It hurts. It hurts. Madam, I'm so sorry. What hurts? Belly, belly, my belly. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. What can I do to help? Can, can you drive? Yes, I can drive. You want me to drive you? What's your name? My name is Adam. Oh, Adam. The first man got created. It must be my lucky day. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, madam. I'm not that Adam, but... All the same, thanks for your compliment. Like I said, you want me to drive you? Yes. Uh, are you sure it's not going to inconvenience I you? I do not do mind inconveniencing me, madam. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I, j I just want to be of help. Please, let me drive you. Oh, oh thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Don't worry about your shoe. Oh, my shoe. Don't worry about oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry. Just hold me. It's okay, I'm, I'm holding you. Hold me. I'm holding you. It's so tight. Tight. It's so tight. Will it help? Hold me. Will it help? Yeah. Okay, I'm holding you tight. I'm holding you tight. I'm holding you tight. Sorry, sorry. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, easy, easy. Just a human trying to help another. Oh, in that case, I'll call you a good Samaritan. 
Thank you very much if that's what you wish to call me. Is there something else I can do for you? Um, oh, the drugs for your ailment. Yes. Uh, which way? Yes. Oh, no, no. I, I don't normally take drugs. You know, when this kind of a thing happens to me, just that I, I boil hot water, add a little salt to it, then drink. It will be okay. Would you help me do that? Of course. I, that will make you feel a lot better. Yes, So, please. which way is the kitchen? The kitchen is down the hallway. Okay. By your left. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. Ah. You like it? Yes, yes, yes. Gently, please. Mm. Contrary, I think you are the God sent here. I don't know. Ever since we met today, I discovered that all of me wants all of you. Oh. And this has never happened to me before. Tell me, tell me about it. Tell me more. I think I have fallen in love with you. You want me to tell you the truth? Please, my queen. I'd like to hear. I am equally in love with you. Let's just say we are connected from the first sight. Right? I want to spend the rest of my life with you. <gasps> I want to start now and stay with you forever. Yes. Yes. I want to be yours and yours alone. Take me. Do with me whatever you please. <laughs> I'm at your service. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. My God, look at the time. I don't understand what's going on anymore. I don't understand Adam again. This is so unlike him. Staying out so late without even telling me where he is. And his phone is switched off. What do I do? Hello, Emeka. Hello. Please, is Adam with you? Well, his phone is switched off. That's the problem. You mean to tell me you, did, you didn't see him today? Huh. Okay, thank you. Hello, Namdi. Please, is Adam with you? Uh uh? Oh. Never mind, never mind. It's okay. Everything is fine, don't worry. Bye.
Rachel, Rachel, please. Rachel, please, please tell me Samuel is in your place, please. Please tell me he's with Nick, please. No, he is not. I've been outside waiting for him in worry. When I heard my phone ring, I literally ran in here thinking he's the one. I have not seen Nick. Neither have I seen Samuel. <sighs> What's going on? It's, it's almost midnight. Exactly. It's 11 and it's... <sighs> I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. I don't like this at all. <sighs> Has he finally left me? Is that it? But he can't just walk out on his own home. He can't just leave his house and not return simply because I am in it. Oh God. What is going on? It. No, you know what? Don't. Just hold it right there. I'm not in the mood for this. Are you? Are you kidding me? Look at this idiot! Look at someone that's supposed to be explaining to me, begging on top. It's, it's summoning anger for me. Hey! I don't suffer. Relationship matter. It's not your fault. Darlington, you are going to tell me where you are coming from and you are going to do that this minute. Woman, if you don't get the hell out of my front, I'm going to do something nasty right now. I am going nowhere and neither are you. Not until you tell me what I need to know. Is there another woman? Darlington, you cheated on me last night. Who is she? I can see you are hurt, right? Daniela, if you are tired of being my girlfriend, why don't you just quit? Yes, quit and don't look back. What? You heard me very well. I'm sure you are very good in English. So I wouldn't want you to make me repeat myself again. Now get the hell out of my front now. <laughs> So this is it. You knew you weren't going to come back home. Why didn't you tell me? Hmm? You should have at least called me. You kept me worried. I kept you worried? What are you doing here? What are you doing in my house? Am I supposed to wake up in the morning and you'll be the person I see? I'm asking you a question. Don't you have a house? Why should I come into my house and you're the first thing I see? Don't you think that it is ridiculous? It is shameless of you to wake up in a man's house when he hasn't gotten married to you. Babe? Don't babe me. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, baby. Mm. Ladies. I'm in love. Mm. I know it. And it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, lady. What? Remember, we are not meant to fall in love here. We can't fall in love with those men. Besides, you're way older than him. So why falling in love? Oh, come on, stop it. Don't kill my joy. I know that already. But in all honesty, hmm? love has nothing to do with age. Oh, yes. 
French president and his wife is already there to let us know that. I mean, it has nothing to do with marriage. Come on. Oh my word. What? I can't believe you're saying this. Pardon me to say this. Right. So when you were mentioning that you were finding it difficult to find a man in the city, you know what? I was beginning to think that your time with us was soon as fire. Oh, well, well, well. First cut is always the deepest. And she who loves last, loves the best. <laughs> I like that, ladies. I must tell you something now. Mm. You move out. Come on. What are you feeling like? Relax. He did crazy things with me last night. Mm. Oh. Mm. The things no man has ever done before. Oh my word. I must tell you the truth. He's so flexible. Oh. His stamina. Oh my goodness, is beyond whatever I've seen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know, you tell me. Okay. I feel like squeezing okay. you. I am just hoping that um, someone was not ovulating uh, um, to avoid the stories that touches the heart. Oh, uh, <laughs> I already took care of that. Uh, Besides, should anything happen, I'm equal to the task. Because you're not equal to the task, sweetheart. You again? Yes. Oh. We're not meant to fall in love. I will squeeze your neck. <laughs> no, I'm falling in love. What matters is that you enjoyed it. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> See, eh? I feel good. Alive. In fact, I feel happy. Uh, <laughs> Sam, don't even ask me how I feel because I can't describe it. I, I feel know. like I want a jackpot. <laughs> See, of course you did. See, my brother, first of all, I want to say a very big thank you to you. Yeah. You know, like your advice that you gave us to take ourselves to those women, it was the best advice I've gotten this year. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> what are friends for? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew, who knew, who knew, who knew that sex could be that good? <laughs> ah! Talk a sugar. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I may have had a girlfriend before now, eh? but I feel, I feel like I was single before I met my diamond lady. <laughs> Man. See guys, um, the best way to describe last night, huh? Is that I went to heaven and I got back. <laughs> and I must confide in you guys that I'm madly in love with this woman. Really? I'm telling you, brother. Mm. Like, the satisfaction that I got from this manda, woman. Manda. Eh? <laughs> the satisfaction. Like, this woman is good. You need to see the way she was. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Like, I've never had this satisfaction from any other woman in my life. I must tell you that, bro. You know, uh, Darlington, <laughs> from your tone, I feel you're not seeing the same thought as mine. I don't know. What is your thought, bro? <laughs> Get <him> married. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I feel the same way, man. I feel the same way you feel like, I feel like I'm already That's seeing this woman. Story. I'm already seeing this woman as my wife. Like, I'm seeing like we're getting married tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> like, I can't wait. Like, see, eh? see, I don't even know what you guys are saying. But my own ruby my ruby <laughs> chose me and told me that i was too good for her sweet boy mm -mm. diabetes mm -mm. from now on what is my name diabetes <laughs> see eh? i will not only marry her i will pack the entire world and I will give it to her. You Even with two of you guys, inside. Sammy, Sammy, you Sammy, you started. Give it to her. You Sammy, you started. You <laughs> what to give to the world? You are Ruby's property. <laughs> Ladies, the only way I'm going to describe last night is that my own Darlington is going to make lots of money for me. Mm -hmm. Is there any special reason you're saying all this? Of course there is. He has this good aura and a great destiny which I know that I'm going to forward all those things into my own world. Hmm. Of course. And you know what? He's going to be money upon money upon money 
in billion dosage. I like that sentence. You can say that again. Money in <laughs> billion dosage. As for me, as for my sweet, naive, extremely stupid <laughs> Nicholas. <laughs> There's no telling how long I will take to try him. Milk. Milk mm -hmm. him dry. That's it. Trust me. Whoa. Mm. Did you smell anything? Mm hmm Listen, he came from a background where his father has already done a lot of sacrifices for him. Really? Yes. He's suffering now, but not knowing that his blessing is on the way rather my blessing because all this i am going to collapse them into my world oh, into that. my own Whoa. world mm. <laughs> i love it <laughs> true and sammy has a special aura of money making a gift i call it for the moron has no idea I mean, instead of wasting his precious time looking for who to con with his computer, uh -huh. he would have just created a special app that would solve one problem, uh -huh. and that is making the real money. Uh -huh. But now that he has experienced a woman in me, all those blessings will collapse in my world. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, the same problem with young men nowadays. Impatience. <laughs> True. Had it been most of them that has gone into crime, had waited little longer. I mean, legitimate living would have been theirs. Oh. True. Oh. Yeah, but unfortunately, preaching morality. It's not part of our ministry. No, no, no. It's not. It's not. I'm not ready to preach either. No, my dear. It is not. Instead, the masculine gender collapse is the ministry we are called into. And we are on it already. There is no going back. No going back. Yes. No going back. Yes, lady. You're in? Of course I'm in. We're in already. Come what on. What are you saying? Deep into it. We're I'm in it already. <laughs> oh, and I love it. I don't know how else to tell you this, Deborah. You're suffocating me. Each time I look at you, I want to do something stupid. It's either I feel like strangling you or I feel like strangling myself. Stay away from me. Don't you have a house? Don't you have decorum? Don't you have home training? What are you doing here? Two years with me and you do not have a ring and you don't think we do not have a future together? Are you just shameless? Uh, what are you doing here? Babe, listen. If, if this is a joke, please can you stop already? Because this is really expensive. I can't hold it. Why are you saying all this to me? This is this is not this is not you talking. No. My ancestors are the ones talking. Get a life. Get out of my house. Get alive. I am saying it. This is not you talking. I know my man. Because you cannot talk to me like this after everything we have shared. Are you going to tell me you don't know? What did we share together? <laughs> I'm asking you what did we share together? Two years? Two years of wasted sex? <clears throat> is that what you call share together? Uh, uh. Adam, this is not you. This is not the man I saw yesterday. This is not the man I've been dating for over two years. This is not you. How drastically have you changed in less than 24 hours? Baby, what happened? Change is what happened. Two years. Two years with you are the worst years of my life. <gasps> Oh, you know what? I now know I deserve better. No. <laughs> For your own good, get out of my life. I won't warn you again. <gasps> oh.
Rachel, I believe you are neither deaf nor daft. If you are done with the bed, kindly get off from it. I want to have a good rest. And I don't want to see you there. Should I just leave? I mean, how can he talk to me like that? Yeah, Daniela. What's wrong? Okay, okay, just just calm down. I'll be with you soon, okay? Yes, just put yourself together. Yes, I'll be with you soon. Okay. Oh. Yes, Michel. Are you around? This, this has gotten out of hand. Exactly the way I've been feeling all day. I am going to leave him. I am tired of all these things. I can no longer take it anymore. Daniela, calm down. Daniela. I think you are overreacting. Overreacting? Did you not hear all I have been saying? That it is said, if I am tired of being his girlfriend, that I should quit. And it has been running on my head all day. I couldn't even go to work. I am hot. Are you expecting me to continue like this for the rest of my life? No. Then you will not continue like this. But then I think Michelle is right. The sudden change of behavior in our men is truly strange. Which is why I think we should look into it. Because it's unlike them. Please, Daniela, just... Please. Hmm? I am living Darlington. And I don't care whatever the both of you have to say or think. No, I am done. No, Daniela. I'm already packed. I am Daniela. going. Da Daniela! Wait. Wait. Daniela, calm down. Daniela. Daniela, sit down. Daniela, Just sit. Daniela, please. 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 Sit down. Please. Please, Daniela. Just relax first. Please. Hmm? Good. Hi, Daniela. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Answer me. How long have you been with your man? Tell me. Three whole years. Now answer me. In all those years, has he ever, ever said anything? Anything like what he said to you this morning, has he? Now you understand. You understand that this strange behavior, this sudden change is quite strange. Yes? I do. But no buts! Daniela, no buts. You seem to have forgotten something very vital about life. You seem to have forgotten that when you find someone who means so much to you, so much so.
so that they're literally holding your heart in their hands. You don't give up on them easily. She's right. Michelle is right, Daniela. You don't walk away without a fight. She's right again. You don't. So our men may have decided to start behaving like idiots. But it doesn't mean we will just throw everything we have managed to build with them over the years. We will not do that. Right. We fight right. for our hearts. So that even if we lose at the end of the day, the knowledge that we did not give up so easily grants us the closure we need. Because even soldiers who lose a war, they go home with the knowledge and satisfaction that they will never, never be called cowards for the rest of their lives. Because they fought. So, Danielle, It boils down to exactly what I said. We can't just give up on them easily. These are men we've come to love. We are invested in them. We've gone out of our way to make these men happy. We've been enslaved to see them smile. Exactly. So we can't just walk away like they meant nothing to us. We are going to fight. I figure out exactly what the problem is and squash it and solve the problem and win. Yes? Okay. I okay. <sighs> Me now, ah, not to call me to glory. What's wrong? I, I don't, I don't know. Pardon? I can't seem to remember anything. The website I was working on just a few hours ago, my social media passwords, even the password to this computer, I can't remember anything. Sorry about that. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand anything. What's wrong with me today? Nothing. The only thing that is lacking is me in your system. Hmm. Oh, Ruby. I will never be able to resist you, will I? Hmm. Are you planning on going home tonight? <laughs> Please get the hell out. Home? Nobody leaves the paradise to return to purgatory. Hmm. This is home, as far as I'm concerned. That is what I like to hear. Mm. <laughs> okay. I will block you.
could hold on to you like this till the rest of our lives. I know. I feel same. You know, I... I still wonder why you are this sweet. So sweet. <laughs> Class is sweet. You're beginning to associate with women of class. So, it is natural that everything about you will change. Mm. I'm sure you spent on the night here with me, right? Seeing the face of that classless, ugly girl who is no longer on my list. It's you I want. Mm. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you won't stop. Your father killing me by saying that. Oh, no, no, no. Now come here. Whoa! <laughs> what kind of setback is this? Can a human being just change overnight? How? Oh, why does that even happen? Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure, my love. It's my pleasure. Anything for you. I know. <laughs> so, is there anything else you want me to do for you tonight? Hmm? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> yeah. I never wanted to ask for too much by asking you to stay with me again. Aren't you going home? Home? Yeah. But this is my home. <laughs> I love it when you say that. <laughs> you know, you're my jewel. Oh? Huh? My queen. My woman of outstanding personality. Oh. Mm. <laughs> um, can I ask you a question? Sure, why not? What about your girlfriend? Um, baby, I I don't want to deny the fact that I don't have any. Okay. But she can go to hell for all I care. I don't care. Okay? All I care about is you. I just want to spend the rest of my life with you, my love. Hmm? And with me, you shall be forever. <laughs> I love you so much. And I love you more. <laughs> for me to leave this very frustrating relationship. Why are they even forcing me to, to stay back and help a man that has already given up on me? Why? Look at the time. For me? Who else? Huh. You are my queen. My world. My woman. Aren't you? Yes, yes, I am. Oh my goodness. Alright. Can um, I test it? Of course. Mm. 
Do you like it? It's really nice. Hmm. It gives me so much pleasure to cook for you. And it gives me so much joy when you appreciate it. Ah, it's nice, honestly. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe it. Finally, I found a man who can do all this for me. Oh, it gladdens my heart when you talk like this. You know what? What? I haven't started with you yet. I want to show you the kind of love you will never imagine. Show me all of it. Everything. One more spoon. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mom, I'm going to feed you. Come on. You love it. Of course. You made it. <laughs> <laughs> What is really going on? I was stressed out myself to prepare food for my man. He wouldn't come home. Neither will he take my calls. Good, what is happening? What is happening with my relationship? This is the seventh time and he's not taking my calls. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive my manners. Okay, I know when you're trying to seduce somebody, you should act all serious, okay? Okay. <sighs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> you, oh God, you're so adorable, you're a clown. You're one adorable clown. <laughs> I think instead of this gown, you should have been putting on a mask. And you know what else? <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have to break it to you, but... I feel like I should tell you, you know, for your own sake, the only thing you are capable of making hard right now is my life. And good job, you are doing it so well. My life has never been harder. Pulling off tight clothes is way easier than pushing you away and pushing you aside. You look, you look, please, get your... Whatever that is off my legs. You look hideous. You look like you look like a six month old pot of soup. Hmm? Oh and please don't cry. I think I I wanna see a crying six month old pot of soup. You look hideous. You look disgusting. I'd rather smell my shoe than to say use me. I would I'd rather stay in front of the mirror and stand naked. I can say use myself. It look better. Nicholas, 
open the door. Nicholas, open the door for crying out the loudest. I need to prepare and leave for work. Nicholas, you just locked me out. Oh yes, because it's my house and not yours. Wow. Okay. Well, I need access to the bedroom. This isn't your bedroom anymore. What? What is wrong with you this morning? Do you not know that I work? I need to get in there, prepare and leave for work. And you should have known better than to remain in this house. My goodness. Nicholas, what is wrong with you? I mean, what is going on with you this morning? Okay, I have my things in there and I need them. I will open the door when I feel like it. Nicholas, I'll be late for work. Please don't be like this. Please. Teacher, you know, why is it so difficult for you to understand that we can't share the same bedroom anymore? Just look for somewhere else. Did I go wrong? Can't you just give up? Eh? If something had wanted to happen, it would have happened the moment you touched me in the bedroom. Can't you see? I don't want to. I don't want to see you. Eh? In all honesty, darling, something is wrong somewhere. Can't you just share it with me, please? I should share it with you. Okay. I'm going to tell you. There is only one thing that is wrong with me. And that is you! Daniela is you! Daniela, you disgust me! Huh? The mere sight of you disgust me! The mere sight of you makes me want to just kill myself! Can't you just see? I hate you! Huh? Why are you saying this to me? I practically gave you my life. Why are you breaking my heart with those words? My main confusion right now is why you are still here. Why do you still want to be with a man that doesn't want you? Can't you say I don't want you? You disgust me. I thought you were intelligent. Yes, but now you've shown me the kind of person you are. I didn't, I didn't know more ladies with dignity on this planet Earth anymore. Eh? I don't want to be with you. Leave me. Then it is stop this nonsense and open up to me. Before hey! You disgust me! Stop touching me, Jesus! God! No! This is not you. Valentin, this is not you. Hi. Babe, you're back. What are you doing? I'm um, washing your clothes. I just finished washing your undies, so I tried to pick these ones to wash as well. Are you out of your mind? Huh? What are you trying to prove? If you're not proving anything, this is what I do. This is what you do? Take care of you. Take care of me? You just finished washing what? My undies? Who yeah. sent you? But I always do it for You always do what? I'm talking and you're, you're, you're responding. You always do what? Hey, why are you like this? Why am I like what? Will you shut up? I've told you before, it won't work between us. It is over. I don't know what you're still doing here. Get out of my house while you still can. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I think my stomach is in love with you too. <laughs> Thank you, baby. All right, it's okay. I need to go clear. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down, soldier. What? <laughs> Sit. Sammy, I'm really busy. Shh. I need. Sit. Bye. Okay. So you're not gonna fit with me now. 
Darling, you can start without me. I need to clean the kitchen. I can start without you. You need to clean the kitchen. No, I'm not going to start without you. You know what? Mitchell. Yes. Thank you so much for cooking for me. Do you have an idea what it means to me? Like, each time you cook for me and you serve it, it always feels like my mom is still around. Yeah, really? Like she's still bringing it. <laughs> really? Yes. Thank you. It's okay, my love. You are welcome. Hmm. Am I not a very lucky man? And I am a very lucky girl. <laughs> Look at you. Oh. <laughs> so why don't we, uh, you know, adjourn to the bedroom so I can treat you like a very lucky woman? Oh my goodness, Sammy. Mm. What is wrong with you? Like this? The food can wait. I'm gonna have two dinners. I'll eat you first and I'll come for this. No, Sammy, no. I, look, I smell like fish. I, I literally smell. Oh my god. <laughs> Sammy was everything. I can't believe he will humiliate me like he's doing now. Does it mean he's no longer attracted to me? Oh, dear God. Have I finally lost my man? Has Samuel finally fallen out of love with me? What did I do? Where did I go wrong? How did this happen? <laughs> I didn't mean to annoy you. Please, I, I, I was just joking. With the fact you have another girlfriend? I mean, which boyfriend in the world would joke with something like that right in front of his girlfriend? Baby, I was joking. Why would you even believe that I have another woman aside you? It's impossible and you know that. Well, I'm still not coming into the room. My love, it doesn't call for it. Yes, it does. I want to be allowed to reflect on my life, please. My love, my love, you know it that your life belongs to me, just like mine belongs to you. We should be together always. Don't make this more difficult than it is already. I'm begging you, let me be. You have another woman. Stick to her and let me be. Don't say things that will start making me feel you never loved me. Really? Nick, can you just stop acting up? You're lying and you know it. You clearly know you're lying. I am not lying. My love, I am not lying. I already made up my mind that I would be spending the rest of my life with you. I wouldn't take that decision if I never loved you. Trust me when I said I was joking. I didn't mean it. It was all a joke. face-to-face -face encounter with some VIPs, so you need to look perfect. Oh, but you don't, you don't really need to bother yourself, huh? I'm fine. I'm not worrying myself. I'm just looking out for my man. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I don't know what my life would have been without you. There you hmm? go. My woman, my everything. You look perfect. Really? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Uh, it's okay, you'll be late. Come on, Dalitin, you're going to be late, so please. <laughs> Alright, um, I'll see you when I'm back from work, okay? Have a nice day. 
<laughs> All right. Bye. I'll miss you. Huh? I'll miss you too. What happened to us? Does he not love me anymore? Is he no longer attracted to me? Or does he have a problem? Is he sick? Could that be what this is all about? Oh, what is wrong with Darlington? Oh, I am so confused. So confused. Oh. In our mind, I was practically going to fall at her feet like a man properly seduced. Hi. <laughs> I can imagine how stupid she must have looked. Very stupid. Yeah. See, eh? The sight of her almost traumatized me and almost made me vomit. You know, the thing there is that how did we meet these people? Like, how did we end up with them? Same question I've been asking, but trust me, I've not been able to figure out an answer. I swear. See, eh? Most of the time, when I get back home, and I see her there just standing like wardrobe. I wonder what she's still doing in my house. <laughs> eh? She'll be returning. Go now. Sammy, see, I feel the same way, bro. But the thing there is that I cannot see myself throwing her out of the house. You know? Like, what are people going to say? Mm. You understand? What are people like, going to like say? We've, we have lived together for like more than three years or three years, you know? I don't know whether you understand me. I get your point, sir. Yeah. I just want her to, to go on, uh, on her own accord. <laughs> well, I prayed about that this morning. I even went as far as locking out Rachel that from my bedroom. Yet, bet me she will still be there when <laughs> I return. Yeah, it's like... You know, Daniela actually tried seducing me this morning. The fool went down on me, but nothing happened. Are you sure? My guy can't be lying now. Actually, I gave her benefit of doubt. For me to see whether something will move, but this stuff just was just there looking at her. Your bola no stand. You ain't like woman. <laughs> <laughs> so you are trying to tell me that behind, behind. a woman went down on you and you did not get it's hurt. Guy, the set of that woman alone disgusts me now. Like it is over. Game like there's no there's no point me doing anything with her anymore. Because mm. once this thing I'm not standing anymore, uh, you know this is finished. All over. It's all over. <laughs> Throw her out already. Uh, she should use the door. She has automatically door, become your room. sister. <laughs> Calm down. I, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. I just want her to go on, on, on her own accord, man. I just I don't see myself throwing her out. You know what's funny? What? At some point, we were actually so blindly in love with these women. Now it's as if those feelings are very foreign to us. I wonder what happened. See, let me tell you, Sam. Maybe because we've met the real women. Mm. The women that have experience. The women that know how to treat men well. <laughs> <laughs> Without eating your food. What kind of stupid question is that? Do I look like a girl? Hmm? You didn't eat breakfast. How is it your business? And when is it mandatory that I will eat this poison you call food? Adam! Eve! Your pathetic face won't save you. I'm beginning to get tired of you. As if I'm not tired already. Get a life. Stay away from my business. You can eat the poison. I don't know what is going on anymore. I don't know what is wrong with my man. But whatever it is, I will never give up on you, Adam. Because I still love you. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, you're so funny. It <laughs> was funny. <laughs> and the chest of a celebration. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes, 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 yes. The sad sex. Oh, yes. The sad sex. More money. More money, love. More using me. More power. More using me. I love that. At one glance, any passerby would think we are having a party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we all know this is more like a business meeting. Mm -hmm. A business meeting involving activity progress reports. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. Why don't you open the floor for us? Oh, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, I can see you're happy the way things are going for you. You can say that again, priestess. I am happy, and all thanks to you. No. <laughs> I took you to the water, but I did not force you to drink. Come on! One does not need to be forced when you're thirsty, especially when the water is desirable. Come oh, on. Wait, 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 wait. Are we still talking about men here? <laughs> oh, yes. We are talking about men. Good. Yeah. My dear, I am just amazed by Lady Goat's current state of mind. So calm and so connected to the man made of transfiguration. Mm. <laughs> oh, well, talk That's about good. that. From what she has made us to continue believe, I think she has actually hit a jackpot. Mega jackpot, you mean? Mega jackpot? Yeah. <laughs> Mega jackpot? Hmm. And if she doesn't watch it, hmm. very soon she would be wearing his ring or carrying his baby. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you shh. Enough! Stop making fun of me, please. <laughs> It is not my fault that you women did not get your own Adam. Oh, oh excuse me. me. Excuse me. <laughs> what is What's it? What's that? Wait, wait, wait. Let me tell you oh, that he is, is named Adam. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really mean he is Adam and dead. Of course, you're right. <laughs> and as for me, my own catch is in every inch the bomb. Like a bomb. Like a bomb. Like a bomb. Say that again. I like that. Boom. Boom. Thunder bomb. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> well, ladies, I need to remind you that these men are nothing but a conquest to us. Exactly. Just a princess. Conquest. Believe me, we have not forgotten that. We are aware of that. Two, four, seven. Interesting. Oh. Mm -hmm. Anyways, anyways, <laughs> back to the question at hand. <laughs> this young man called Adam has too many potentials in him. Believe me, that anyone can drown in. That is if you wish to take all at once. <laughs> this, there's something about that man. Ooh. Believe me, until I get what that is, I am ready to take his case one step at a time. Oh yeah? Okay. <laughs> Trust him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do not, I will not allow him to envelop you. Enjoy your food. I'm already <laughs> doing it. <laughs> Baby. What are you doing? I'm ironing your clothes, Mr. Rumpel. I'm still talking to you. You're, you're, you're still you're, you're doing what? How many times have I wanted you to stay away from my property? Are you mad? Adam. Eve! Stay away from my property. Stay away from anything that concerns me. Iron your own life. Adam, I will never give up on you. Never will I. I have given up on you! Can someone say something? Apparently, you just said something. And you might as well continue. 
I personally don't know what to say. I just want to die. Daniela, calm down. Look, I know something very strange is going on here. But I mean, taking one's life should not be an option now. Let's be calming down, please. Indeed, you're making a lot of sense, Michelle. But at the same time, I can't help but feel these men fell out of love with us because they met other women. Exactly. Who are those women? I don't know. What did they offer to our men that has made them suddenly develop into a very strange man just in one week? And this is the perfect reason we must not give up on them. We can't give up on them. You know these guys are good guys. So we must try and salvage this very ugly situation. We have to fight. We must fight. Dangerous, so dangerous. And as for my Darlington, the lawyer, who doesn't know the great potentials in him, he would have borrowed money to open a private practice. He would have made it. Anyways, it is too late now because I have taken that potentials from him and I'm using it to make more money for myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. <laughs> hey, I know the ability to talk people into putting money in your account. Oh, it's not about putting money into my account, gentle priestess. It's about convincing people to believe you with their wealth. Mm. <laughs> they felt they are investing in a very big company. Oh. <laughs> All in their head. Not knowing that I'm using it to make more money. Oh. More oh. and more oh. money oh. to myself. <laughs> <laughs> At what point do you think it's time to end things with him? Huh. How can I end it? Not until I have succeeded in taking it all for myself. Oh. Every single gift his maker has blessed him with. I will make sure I collect everything. Oh my God. Everything. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Are you saying you will not stop until you have rendered him useless? What? <laughs> Babes, we don't stop. Of course no. we do not. We stop. never can stop. Yes. No. no way. We can never stop until we are done with them. Mm. I love this. Oh. This is what I love to hear. Mm. I loved Darlington from the very first day I met him. He may not have money, but he is a very intelligent young guy with a potential for building a bright future. A future I am willing to help him build. That is why I love him. That is why I changed my mind from leaving. Well, I don't know what has suddenly come over him. But like you all said, I believe in a good fight. So I will not stop. I believe in a good fight. And I will not stop. Until I am sure that the chance to build a future with him has become null and void. Oh, my Nicholas the love of my life. He's the only man on the surface of this earth who succeeded in stealing my heart. He is brilliant. And that is only one out of the many qualities I enjoy in him. You know, even before we started dating, we used to be friends. Mm -hmm. Best of friends, actually. Which is what makes it so hard for me to just give up everything we've shared. 
he might not have given me the world and money and all the many vain things a woman would want from her man but he loved me and made my heart so full which is why I will not skiff up on him I will stick to him fight with him and figure out exactly what is going on squash it and get him back so yes yes to the fight talking about Samuel Samuel may not have a dime to his name like Shishi but something deep within me keeps telling me that he will make it and then his love for me and my love for him always gives me that hope it keeps the fire of hope burning in me and to be very honest with you despite everything he has put me through this past few days that hope is still there the fire is still burning and that is why I will fight oh I will fight for him well at least until that fire is no longer burning <laughs> but yes I will fight for my man yes to the fight right ladies well 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 ladies I'm glad to hear all this. Very excited. You know my Nicholas? He's technically an intelligent young man with great potential to make lots. Oh, mm. and lots. And lots. And lots. And lots of money. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so by caging him. I am now counting in billions. Wow. Ooh. With lots and lots. You can say and that lots again. And <laughs> lots and lots of money. By becoming an intelligent woman. Good gosh. I never knew oh, The diamond lady is absolutely on fire. I know. Like fire. You know what? I know. And the fire is unquenchable. <laughs> you can't on. quench it. At all. Bring it on. Bring oh, it on. Man. I love that. <laughs> I seriously love that. And I am not going to leave him mm -hmm. until he's left with nothing, nothing. <laughs> but an empty shell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My. My, my, oh. my Samuel has made me a wealthy woman. Oh. Boy, mm -hmm. that guy has so much aura mm -hmm. to make money and wealth. And caging him has also given me that aura. Oh, yeah. Aura. Uh -huh. Making so much money. Oh, my God. Oh. I can feel it all oh over. My God. It's burning. Oh my God. It's burning. <laughs> She's not sick. She's not sick. Do you know these men look easier to some people? But you ladies have worked really hard for yourself. Mm -hmm. By the time you are through with him, anything you touch, we turn to money. Oh, mm. money. If you ladies will stand, I would like to propose it to us, the success. Mm. That will link us one more time to the man made of transfiguration. Oh, okay. Okay. To success. Yes. To success. success. To more money. To, to more, more money. money. And to more men. To more, and rich to more men. men. To, to the home. <laughs> Are you still going out? What does it look like I'm doing? And I will start any of your business. So you still would not tell me where you are going to?
You seem to have clearly turned this place to your bedroom. Soon, I will start charging you rent. Nicholas, I will never give up on you. This is a promise. You can go ahead and explore your exuberance. I'll always be right here, waiting for you. Yes, my love. I'm already on my way. You will see me now, okay? Come on, you don't have to be impatient. Huh? You know quite well how patient I can be with you. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know, you you are the best that has ever happened to me. The same way I am the best that has ever happened to you. Baby, just hang on. You see me now, okay? Yeah, soon. All right. <laughs> I keep asking you to allow me move in here with you, but you always wave that aside. That's because I prefer some sort of an independent life from the man in my life. Mm. Interesting, but you could not wait to see me today. I always miss you. You mm. know that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, my ruby. Mm. Oh. You look so beautiful. You look like the sun and the moon put together. Mm. Oh. Ruby. Ruby. <laughs> You're so good with words. That really makes me feel so good. Oh. <sighs> look, there's a reason I came up with the strategy that we should trail our men. Now that we have indeed found out that they have other women in their lives, now we know where those women live. Indeed. But we didn't see what goes on behind their closed doors. Rachel, please. Please, grow up and stop lying to yourself. When your man wakes up one morning and decides all of a sudden that you are no longer fine enough for him, what else do you think is the reason? But even then, we can't just automatically assume just because we trailed them and found where they entered. Seriously? Rachel, she's right. Huh? I overheard Darlington this morning and 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 what oh. Daniela talk seriously Richard seriously you really want her to say it don't you already know the answer to your question Daniela my love you don't have to do this to yourself right now you don't it's so painful. I know. So, so painful. I feel you. Especially now that we have confirmed it. Ah! Honestly, Michelle, I still can't believe it. I just cannot believe it because even if a prophet had predicted this, honestly, I would have called him a liar. Well, my dear, it has already happened. So, what are we going to do? I think we should confront them. Yes, we should confront them so they can tell us exactly why they would do something like this to us. I don't think so. You don't? If you confront them, what are you going to gain? Other than being hot. <sighs> yeah. Both of you are right. Everything happened so fast. 
And from the way they are behaving, I can tell you this. They have not been cheating with those women for too long. Right? So like Rachel said before, we have to confront them first before drawing conclusions. You know what? Let me spell it out for you in very clear words, okay? Open your ears. I am in love with another woman. And you know what? She is beautiful, she is intelligent, she is mature. I mean, she is everything you are not and everything you will never be. As a matter of fact, it might interest you to know that I'm just coming from her house. Yes, I went to visit her. And I... No, 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 no. I don't even expect why you are... Why you still think I will be attracted to you. I mean, take a look at yourself. Just take a look at yourself. Look at, look at you. Look at your breasts. Look at your hips. What are those? You are, you are not attractive to me anymore. You are a total turn up. I see you and I get turned up. You have destroyed my remote. Do you understand that? I am not interested in you anymore. Okay. I see. So when exactly did you meet this woman? Oh my. Oh, I met this woman when I met her and she has become who you are not and who you will never be. Okay? Are you satisfied now? Why are you interrogating me? Are you a lawyer? I'm suddenly a, a, a criminal for meeting and loving the real woman. Nicholas, you're practically confirming to me that indeed there is another woman whom has brainwashed you against me. You are sick to use the word brainwashed. Instead, you are the brainwashed fool who has refused to live where she's no longer needed. It may interest you to know, I am just coming back from my house. Yes. So when exactly did you meet this strange woman? You must be insane to call her that. Daniela, when did you become this classless? Huh? Someone that can buy your entire generation. Is that who you are calling strange? Okay, I I apologize. I am sorry. So, when did you meet this classy woman? Well, if you must know, we met not too long ago. And she has already become what you can never be in your entire life. So, can I have my peace now? Why are you even interrogating me? Is it because I chose to stand here and answer your ridiculous questions and settle this matter once and for all? Is it because of that? I'm sorry, I was just trying to satisfy my curiosity. Don't! Don't, 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 don't even bring me into your curiosity voyage or whatever you have going on inside this head of yours, okay? I am not interested in you anymore. I am, I am not interested, oh my, I am not interested in you anymore, okay? How else am I supposed to say this? Should I speak French? Oh, should I speak French? Should I translate it? Or oh, how do you want me to say it? I am not interested in you, okay? Leave me alone! What is this? Listen, Rachel, I've had enough of this. I just need a moment of peace. Nicholas, can I at least ask you a question? Have I, have I perhaps offended you unknowingly? I never said you did. I just want to be left alone. That's all. Just get a life and leave me alone. Baby, I... Don't touch me. Okay. Nicholas, you are leaving me for an older woman and you feel that is the right thing to do. Will you shut up? Will you shut that you're dating mouth up? Okay, okay, okay. You are the least qualified to play that age card with me. She's an older woman, but she's everything you're not. My God! Yes, she is! <gasps> Let me be. Get a life and leave me alone, Rachel. Stay away from me, Rachel. Oh. 
Okay. Enough of the silence. What do we do now? I mean, what is the next plan? Daniela. <sighs> Look. I know that our hearts are broken. <sighs> but let's understand this. The probability of a young man who lives with and is in love with a young woman. Falling in love with a much older woman is next to nothing. Yes. And in this our case, <laughs> it is not mere coincidence that our men met and fell in love with these women at the same time. It isn't. <sighs> so if you ask me, <laughs> oh my God, you, it's, it's, it's quite strange. Not just strange, but I feel there is something fishy and we need urgent answers exactly that is the logical thing that comes to mind but the real question begging for an answer is where do we start from what do we do next because as you can see it's not ordinary i know of a woman huh? My aunt told me about her, telling me that if Samuel ever starts to misbehave, this woman would help me bring him back to his senses. Hmm? And Simeo, I told her that I would not be needing the woman, as I could very much vouch for Samuel's love for me. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's see I'm now, as will life be. <laughs> This has further helped me in understanding the saying, nothing is impossible. I mean, how... Nicholas... Where is this woman? And how do we get access to her? Right. Auntie, I understand that Adam might be in the clutches of another woman. But that does not necessarily mean that I should follow him all about when he leaves the house. It's not done, Auntie. Who does that, Auntie? No, 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 I can't stalk him. I can't stalk him. I don't... It's not as if I'm not listening to you, Auntie, but I'm telling you what I cannot be able to do. How can I stalk a man? I know he's behaving strangely, but there is another way to get to the root of this, not following him around. What? I should visit a spiritualist? For what exactly? No, 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 auntie, I'm not interested. Please. No, I'm not interested. Please, I have to go now. I really have to. Uh -uh. What is wrong with her? Ah! Uh -uh. I don't know why everyone is behaving as if insanity has been injected into the air. Love is one emotional feeling that no human being on earth is able to conquer. It can make you do the most craziest of all things. You ladies never expected you'd come to an environment like this, right? Yes, we, we did not see it coming. But now we are here. We want you to do something. David confirmed that they left us for older women. And it's very devastating. I will not say anything until we are complete. Complete? What, what does that mean? We are complete, right? Yes, complete.
Um, who is she? I don't know. Uh, greetings, everyone. Uh, I'll just... Greetings. Please, make yourself comfortable while we continue. But... It's fine. Thank you. You ladies are all here for the same thing. You are here because your men left you for much older women. What? Wait, you mean to tell me that my Adam is cheating on me with an older woman? Yes. You are here because you are suspecting that your man is cheating on you, right? Exactly, but I know full well that... I'll tell you right now. They are cheating on you with much older women. Wealthy and more powerful. Oh my goodness. How can, how can Adam do this to me? Wise one, please. We are here not to hear what we already know, but to, to, to find the solution to our problem. You may decide to fight these women to win your men back. But I'm telling you right now, you won't win. Why? Two words, power and money. These women have it in abundance. You may decide to fight these women without any power of your own. But I'm telling you, you just be making a mockery of yourselves. Mm. This is crazy. Okay, but what do you suggest we do? Because we cannot just give up on our men. I'll say this. The women are connected to a deadly altar. Yeah. Deadly altar of the mermaids. Of transfiguration. They have your men in the clutches of deadly love potion that I can tell you came from the devil himself. So fighting them without any kind of power of your own will only result to one thing death. What? Death? Are you serious now? It means war. I know they may come for me during the process. But I'm not scared. They are evil. I am not. Are you ladies prepared for this war? Oh This is too much. It is totally crazy if you ask me. <sighs> this is actually more than we expected. You should be lying. Hmm? Given all that has happened, I don't think that woman was lying. Omo, yes, yeah, so me, I am actually inclined to believe her. I do not know about you ladies. But I find it very difficult to believe that an older woman would take my man away from me. Hmm. It can't happen. It will never happen. I was only compelled to come here by my aunt and trust me, I'm so angry right now. And I feel, I feel like I've wasted a whole lot of my time. Well, I think she is right in our case. You know why? Because I don't think it's a mere coincidence the fact she said that same thing about your man. So instead of jumping into conclusion and possibly hating your innocent aunt who is only trying to help you, how about you go home and actually do what she advised? Check your man's phone. Can you hear yourself speak? I should check my man's phone? For what exactly? <laughs> For what now? <laughs> my dear, it is obvious we are not wired with the same cable. So go ahead, eh? Do whatever you are happy with. It's fine. Ladies, since this woman is serious, what the hell do we do? 
I say let us confront these women. Huh? Hey. Didn't you hear when the spiritualist pointed out how dangerous it is to do that? I did. So? And that is why I am thinking of something. Daniela, I know what you are thinking. And I support you. I don't know what you both are thinking, but whatever it is, I support it as well. What do we call this madness? I mean, what's this? Are you guys losing your minds? Have you lost it? Do you have a better option? Well, I don't. But I certainly know that two wrongs can't make a right. Eh. Eh. It's fine. Suit yourself. Oh? As for me, standing here, ha, I am boiling with anger. I'm very angry. I am losing my mind. And I am ready to fight. Fighting over a man? I mean, who does that? Well, it's it's your thing. I, I I don't have I don't have to say anything anymore. Do whatever pleases you, but count me out of it. Excuse me. Now na, na this type, now they, they 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 go kill her like this for jungle, chop them like goats. What's wrong with her? You're back. Yes, with our minds fully made up. I see, but just to be sure, what exactly is your mind made up about? Wise one, like you said, the women who snatched our men were able to do so because they have power and money. Now we want our men back. We can't just give up on our men. So we've decided to seek the kind of power which supersedes us. Good decision. It's going to be very intriguing. But I still have to ask. Have you really made up your minds about this? Yes. Why is one? Why do I have a feeling that you are about to discourage us? Not at all. I just want to know if you understand what you are about to get into. Wise one, we are not children. We understand completely. And when you are right, you are right. But you must understand that the path you've chosen has its own consequences. Indeed, wise one, we are not children like she said. We already knew this will not be easy which is why we came well prepared. And since you've made up your mind, let's start immediately. Living here is what I will do. I can't believe I stayed for this long to warrant getting involved with an evil woman. <laughs> Indeed, love makes one do foolish things. This is 
beautiful. Okay, slow down. Because, you know, obviously, I don't have the money for a proper wedding yet. But, you've moved in with me, so I thought it was right for me to give this to you. Okay? It's beautiful, babe. As you are. <laughs> it belonged to my grandmother, who passed it down to my mother. And as the only child, I'm supposed to pass it down to my wife. And I can think of no other person but you, Mitchell. <laughs> oh, thank you, baby. Thank you. I want you to hold on to it. And I want you to know that this, this, this is a proof of the love I have for you. And it's never going to die. I want you to hold on to it till I get the elders to name you my wife. Okay? And never give it back to me. Except, of course, I ask you to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, I would never ask you to do that. Okay? It belongs to you and you alone. Not the person, Mitchell. Thank you. Thank you, baby. You this, like is, it? this is very beautiful. Thank you. I got on myself into. I mean, how do I even get out of this? Gosh. How? 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 How do I? You bastard! You bastard! You ruined my life! You ruined my life! What's wrong with you? Have you gone mad? I hate the day I set my eyes on you! You disgusting son of a f**k! Wait... You... You still have this? You still have what? My lord, thank you once again for the delicious food. <sighs> I really enjoyed it. Baby, come on. You've literally been thanking me all day. Don't you get tired? I know, but the fact still remains that you shouldn't have bothered yourself. But I thank God for you. It's okay, baby. I mean, it's the least I could do for the man I love on his birthday. <laughs> well, I hope you still feel the same way after I do this. And um, what is it? I'll spare you the stress of guessing, so then turn around. Just. I should turn around. Turn around and close your eyes. Okay. Good boy. <laughs> eyes closed. Of course. Don't you dare cheat. My eyes are closed. Yeah, well. You know you can't be trusted all the time. Sometimes oh. you're very mysterious. Babe, I can't cheat. Okay. I'm watching you, babe. My eyes are closed. Okay. Here you go. Don't open your eyes. I am not. I'm trying everything possible not to open my Please. eyes. Babe, be fast. Be Babe, fast I fight. am. Okay. The sooner you calm down, the faster it's going to be for me to do what I'm doing. <sighs> there you go. You may not open your eyes. You see, you already opened your eyes even before I said you may not open your eyes. Rachel! I know, I know, baby. I know you clearly said you didn't want a cake or anything in form of celebration on your birthday. But then again, I already placed an order for it and there was nothing I could do. 
I love this. Is I know. I just wanted you to have something special on your birthday. It's gold. Rachel, this is expensive. Really now? So you're gonna keep chastising me? I'm sorry, my love. I'm, I'm just worried about the money you spent. My goodness. Oh, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Baby, you need to specify that is the most beautiful thing you've seen all day apart from me. Babe, I said the most beautiful thing in naughty person. Besides, it's coming from the most beautiful woman, which is you. So <laughs> that's more like it. <laughs> so you really like it, baby. Yes, I love it. And I will have it close to my heart. I will never remove it. Really? Yes. <laughs> Rachel, I love you. And as long as my heart continues to beat for you, this necklace will remain on my neck. I will see it as a symbol of our love. Really? Yes. I love you. I love you too, Rachel. <laughs> You did not take it off. Rachel, I can see you've gone mad. I can see you're crazy. Look, I Get, can... let your hands off me. No, I, I, this, this, ah, ah, ah. Next time you try this nonsense, I will kill you. I can see you've gone mad. I saw it. No, I'm not crazy. He's wearing it. If they think I am going to kill a newborn baby simply because I am in love with a man, they are joking. That woman must be out of her mind. Extremely delusional. This is it, babe. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Thank you so much. I, I love what I see. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Listen, Daniela. You know, when I asked you to come live with me, I didn't just ask you to come share my house with me, but just to share my life with me. So until the day I, I drag this luggage out of this house with my own hands, I hope you never leave me, no matter what happens. I, I really love you so much. And please, do not give up on us, okay? said it herself. She has already fortified us with the blood of the devil and spoke the word of the deep to us. So why then is she asking us to commit murder? All because of love? Hello, I will call Rachel after this. You listen, that woman is luring us into crime and we must not play into her hands. She has fortified us already, so we must act with what we have. Do you understand? 
you are right. Completely right. As a matter of fact, I cannot explain what is happening right now. So does it mean you've returned to do what others have done? Um, we could, we could do it in another way. There could be other ways to do this, please. Huh? What if I say there isn't? Um, but I, I know for sure that two wrongs can make a right. Before I say anything further, probably you and Adam may love each other forever. But your relationship is based on a lie. A lie? I'm sorry, great man. What are you talking about? He knows. He knows? He knows what? Go home and question him. He is hiding something very important. And it has nothing to do with the new man in his life. You're speaking to me in parables. What exactly is Adam hiding from me? Hey, what are you telling me now? I have to answer this question with another question. What question, please? Have you met his family? Has he introduced you to any member of his family? N no. Have you been to his village? No. Why is it? Not being financially ready for marriage is not enough reason for you to prevent your spouse from meeting your family. Maybe there's something they call blessing of marriage. You know, we can actually do something without spending a dime. Be besides, my family could help. Deborah, please, please, what is wrong with you? How many times have I told you to drop this topic? I don't want to discuss it. But why? I've had enough. Enough, please. Babe? What, what, what is your problem? I'm asking you, what is your problem, Deborah? Is it that you don't understand simple English? Why are you so stubborn? How many times have I told you to drop this topic? We will relate with it when the time is right. Is that too difficult for you to understand? Why do you always flare up like this each time I bring the topic about family? Because of your nonchalant attitude. I have told you, leave this family topic. Is it my family you're dating on me? Why are you concentrating on your family when you should give me all the love? What is your problem? Adam? Deborah, please. I advise you to get over this madness of yours. Else. Else what? Else you would have to choose between your ridiculous desire to meet with my family or me. Please, great one. If there is something I need to know, you're in the best position to tell me. Please. I am. But I won't. Because you have to hear it from his mouth. But of course you know that's impossible. You know it. Nothing is impossible. When a woman is desperate, she will unleash the woman in her. The man may be strong, but the woman is the mother of the man. Who are you? How did you get into my house? Young woman, you will do yourself well to answer me or else. Or else what? I will alert the police and tell them of the presence of an intruder in my house. And how fast do you think they will get here before I kill you? Kill me? Didn't your mother tell you not to enter a house when you don't know anything about the owner? <laughs> well, I know everything I need to about you. You, on the other hand, know nothing about me. Leave my house. Oh, I will leave your house on one condition. You will promise to leave my man alone. Excuse me? Oh, you know exactly what and who I am talking about. Samuel. You're Samuel's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Good thinking. Girlfriend is classless and berated. I am his woman. 
And so I have come here to diplomatically ask that you leave my man alone. Diplomatically is not a word. You criminally gained access to my house. How did you get in here? Hmm. Too many questions. And I am not in the mood for an interview. Now, if you fail to do what I am asking you to do... Wait a minute. You came to my house to threaten me? With all due disrespect, do not interrupt me again. If I have to come back here, if I have to see your face again, trust and believe it will not end well. You actually came to my house to threaten me. Who gave her the gods? There are many easy ways to kill a person. It could be through a brief ailment, an accident, a gunshot wound, or a slice through the throat with a knife. Rachel, what are you doing here? How did you get in here? Nicholas, get stressed and let's go. You must be out of your mind. Now get out! And I ask again, how did you get into my house? <laughs> you sound like this place is some kind of fortress of solitude. And even if it was, I will still break through it. Because I am now a woman who can go wherever she wishes. Doors and security cannot shut me out. Get out of my house this minute. Out! Nicholas, I said get dressed and let's go. <laughs> I can see that you don't know who I am. Because if you do, you won't be in my house this minute. <laughs> I know exactly who you are. Oh yes, I do. You are one of those useless demons operating with the powers of the mermaids of transfiguration. Oh, surprised? That's clearly because you do not know who I am. And I advise you not to trigger me to show you what I can do. Nicholas, I do not want to repeat myself. Get dressed! If it doesn't, what will you do? Hmm. If he doesn't... Get dressed and come with me this minute. I am going to break every single thing in this house. And when I'm done, I will start breaking people. Are you threatening me? <laughs> Do I strike you like I came here to make empty threats? Nicholas? Oh, I see you're not ready. No, 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 no. Who are you? 
And what do you think you're doing here with your legs on my table? I am someone who is going to be your nightmare very soon. I beg your pardon. You wouldn't want to fall out with me, would you? I can see you really have no fear. A child who says his mother will not sleep, cannot sleep either. He will gather as an ant infested firewood has deliberately invited the lizard for a feast. Are you this classless? How can a young lady like you be speaking in riddles? Oh please, how did you get into my house? Seated comfortably like this. The classless one who cannot make any bold statements when it comes to finding a man is calling the classic classless. What school did you fools attend? Do you want me to fall out with you? By the way, how did the gate man allow you in here? Your innocent gate man is asleep as we speak. What? I put him to sleep so we can talk. How you? really have no fear. I have no fear, for you have something that belongs to me. Which is? Darlington. Darlington? What does Darlington got to do with this? Put an end to whatever you have with him. Or else, when next I return, I will show you that the devil himself is more superior than the man made of transfiguration. No. Pray to your God. I don't return. It's a spiritual battle, not a physical battle. It's a spiritual battle, not a physical battle. When power jump, power one power most power. That's a power. For this is not a physical battle. Step out of my way. I will. If only you tell me where your family is. It's not difficult. Write it down if you cannot tell me. Just the address. That's what I need. I am no longer interested in getting married to you, so I don't see any reason you want to meet with my family. For the very last time, get out of my way. The address. Not on your life. Get out! If I don't get out, what will you do to me? What? You, you beat me up? Go ahead and do your worst, Adams. Do your worst! What is all this? Now let me ask you a question. Are you married? Do you have a family somewhere? Are you hiding anything from me? Why are you staring at me like that? Rachel, do you not have spiritual powers? What do you think? If that is the case, making me come home with you out of fear will not make me love you more than I love the other woman. Nicholas, you are not in love with the other woman. Can't you see? She has you under her spell. And you want me to believe that? With what just happened right now? How ironic. I am the woman you have lived with for years. Are you? Yeah. Because the Rachel I know does not have the ability of waving her hand and get things crashing. Well, that is the new Rachel and you should get used to her. Yes, but will I be capable of loving her? Rachel, I want you to get this and get it into your head. I am in love with another woman and nothing will ever make me stop loving her. 
Not even the supernatural Rachel. Nicholas. I am going back to her. And if you are not comfortable with that, you can as well wave your hand and kill us all. Nicholas. I will not let her win. I won't give you up to her because you belong to me. Come rain, come sunshine. I just want to chop that demon for snatching my relationship. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, women. I simply cannot understand what is going on. How come no one harassed me? Good. You may even be in more danger than we are. The one that confronted me knows it all. She knows everything. Oh, they cannot do anything. Come on, women. Have you forgotten who we are? We are not in any form of danger. Come on. Do you know why you talk like this? Because you are not the one that woke up this morning to find a strange lady in your house. Don't mind. That is just it. When I looked into the eyes of the girl I met this morning, I felt nothing but a strange chill in my bones. Exactly. <sighs> Cold fear. What I call it. Cold fear. We have to do something and fast. We are not going to do anything. Because they cannot do anything to us. Come on, women. What is going on? Am I not the one you should be listening to? You should be more careful. For the fact that Adam's girlfriend did not confront you doesn't mean she's daft. She could be coming for you with a more deadly ammunition. Then I will unleash the totality of the moment of transfiguration on those lousy ladies. Oh, good. Good, you're not getting it. Those girls said they are more superior than the mermaids of transfiguration. Don't you get it? Ha! Ah. In all honesty, if you ask me, how they got to know about all this. I do not have an answer to it. Oh, come on, women. The priestess will be highly disappointed in us, knowing that we are afraid of those little lossy girls. Oh, come on. We are more deadly than those little girls. Have you all forgotten how we got here? Have you forgotten who we really are? Oh, believe me, they will do nothing. Instincts. That is what it is called, and not fear. My natural impulse is telling me that we should, I mean all of us, should find a way to get those girls out of our lane. And come to think of it, this has never happened to us. Nobody has ever dared to confront us. Things have always gone smoothly. And it will equally go smoothly this time. With or without us girls. Okay. Oh yes. Besides, very soon. Very soon. They won't be able to do anything about their men anymore. Oh yes, because we will soon leave them wretch and flee from the city. Move over to another place. Oh, come on, come on, women. Sit down, please. We we'll have to do something before it's too late. Exactly. Nicholas made me understand we are in for real war. And you know we are ready for that war. Look, guys. The most important thing is that we have made our stand. And I believe right now, at this moment, these women are talking about us. Oh, yes. 
they are talking about us the same way we are talking about them but the main thing i want right now is to just kill that demonic woman who stole my man unfortunately we have desperately become demons ourselves i'm just wondering right now how we'll free ourselves after all this michelle i don't care i don't even care provided i get my man from the grip of that evil woman if i can get him to marry me at the end of the day i'll be so proud of myself as the daughter of a warrior who never ran from a fight when there was need for one i just want to choke that woman i sincerely hope something good comes out of this oh. i hope so too um Look, I know for a fact that all of these will not be in vain. May it not be in vain. I can't lose Nicholas. Listen, I'm not happy at all. I am not. How can you be a close friend to Adam, yet you claim not to know anything about his family background? I don't understand. Are you expecting me to believe that? Don't ask me such a stupid question if you don't have any way to help me. If you don't have means to help me, stop asking me questions. Please. What is going on? I'm losing my mind. God, who is Adam? Why, why is he finding it so difficult to tell me about his background? So, <laughs> I'm guessing you were expecting me to be glad and happy that I'm coming back here to see your face all over again. Is that it? Samuel, you don't have to be rude towards me all the time. I was just greeting you. Don't greet me, Mitchell. Don't greet me. Greeters Club, don't greet me. Don't allow it to come out of your throat. The sound of your voice is irritating. It's, 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 it's killing me. Can you just stop? Don't talk to me. Don't mention my name. Don't greet me, for God's sake. Seems you had a bad day. Oh, actually, my day was perfect. And you know what sport it? Walking into this place to see your face. Yes, you spot my very perfect day. Thank you very much. You deserve a round of applause. Sammy. What is it? You're in a mood. Did you have a fight with your woman? Or maybe she has broken up with you? <laughs> oh, poor Michelle. <laughs> Darling, so I'm guessing you've been, you know, praying for this for a long time now. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Michelle. My Ruby and I were doing perfectly fine, okay? There's nothing to worry about. No cause for alarm, sweetheart. Wait, hold on. You, you didn't break up. What, what is it with this break up, break up? Wait, Mitchell, why are you so interested in us breaking up all of a sudden? You didn't do something. So she didn't end things. That means she wants to see how far I can go to free my man. Do I need freedom? What are you talking about? Excuse me. Mitchell, I'm talking to you. What is this? Mitchell! <laughs> I ask you again. What did you say to my woman? Huh? Daddy, too, you are struggling with me. I, I have not struggled with you yet. Otherwise, you won't have much to be talking right now. Oh. Please. What do you say to Silver? Talk properly. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> 
Alright. But just have it in mind that if you don't explain yourself properly, I will have a great pleasure knocking you out. Do you understand me? I didn't do anything to her. But you said something to her. What did you say to her? I only asked her to leave my man alone. Oh, I see. In your little twisted mind, you feel like it's supposed to make me come back to you? Darlington. Listen, Daniela, whatever you have been called, I don't know how you managed to know where she lives. Or what gave you the guts to, to, to even confront her? But I'm warning you for the last time. If I ever see you close to my woman again, I will give you a lifetime injury. Do you understand me? But she does not. Shut up! Understood? What is happening? What is happening? What a tragedy. What a tragedy. It's a spiritual battle. Not a physical battle. For crying out loud, it is 12.30 a.m. And he's still with her. After everything I've done, he chooses that disgusting old bitch over me. So what? So what now? Wait, 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 wait. He's, he's really choosing her over me? Like, he's not gonna come back to me? What is happening? I'm going to kill somebody. I will. I will. I'll get objects moving. Really? <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. They want to achieve results, but they don't want to shed blood. How is it going to work? Madam, please, don't do this to me. I need this food specially for you. Why must we fight all the time? Eh? Why can't we just sit, eat in peace, and talk like civilized people? Please. Why else are you meant to know? Baby, please stop doing this to me. It's not fair. Okay. Can you at least eat my food? It's been a long time you ate in this house, and it doesn't go down well with me. Why is it so important that I eat your food today? Why? I need your help. I don't know what else to do. Help me, please. Your man is a stubborn man. The same problem he has with his family. I'm aware of that. He has gone to great lengths to hide his true identity away from me. I don't know what else to do. I've really tried. Well, you've obviously tried your best. I can't help but feel pity for you. So I'll give you something. A true serum. Serum? Uh, sorry, but I've never heard that before. What is it? Just drop it in his food and you're good to go. Oh, well that would be very difficult because he, he doesn't even eat my food anymore. Deborah, as a woman, you are powerful. You can get him to eat whatever you've prepared. Just a drop of it in his food. You will get all the answers you need. Okay then. Okay, can I have it? All I want is your forgiveness. I know, I know I haven't been the best lately. But just forgive me and let's live in peace. I'm begging you. Just be okay with me. It is still me, okay? Even if you don't want the relationship anymore like that, but at least eat and be okay. Be fine for me. Please. I'm so touched. 
Babe. So just what do you eat now? Babe. 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 Feed them to dogs. you will not allow you to do the right thing. What? Are you surprised to see me? You're obviously a very foolish rich woman because if you were wise you wouldn't be. Do you know what you have in your throat? You have the chameleon's poison. I can't believe I'm actually saying this. But it will give me so much joy and pleasure to just sit here Cross my legs and watch you die. Look at you. Just take a good look at you. One of the most powerful women. You cannot even stand an ordinary chameleon poison. What a shame. Now, are you going to leave my man alone or do you want me to steal? I will. I promise. I will. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. I don't want to come back here. I don't want to see your face again. Or else I'm going to... Didn't I? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Please, I beg you with everything I've got. Well, you took, you took, you took everything I've got when you took my man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm Forgive sorry. you. Forgiveness is not something I have in my heart at the moment. You are not a big. Go ahead and scream. You can scream all you want. Not even your cook sleeping in the room next to your living room can hear you. Nobody can. I'll kill you and you'll never be able to find out what happened to you. Maybe I should flog you to death because that is the only way I'll have my mind back. Uh, no, 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 no. No? No? Yes. I am, I am letting him go. I'm letting him go. Everything. I'm stopping everything that has to do with him. The spirit. Never, never to do. Never, never to do anything with him. Yes. Good. Good. I'm trusting your words. <laughs> Today was just an ordinary cane. 
the next time I come here, it will be with matches. Mm -hmm. on my own, there won't be any time. There will never, never be any time. There will never be any time. Look at how pathetic you are. Running up and down your own house like a rat. Make sure I do not return here because you would regret it, even in death. Good. Choke me to death just because of you. Please, please don't kill me. He never knew I now have an uncanny ability with water. I am here to choke you with water. And I am asking you, how do you feel? Please, please don't kill me. <coughs> <coughs> When next I return, I promise you, I will not be as lenient as I am today. <coughs> I am ashamed of all of you. Extremely ashamed of you. Look at you. You allow yourself to be crippled by a group of small girls? And you have the guts to stand before me? <sighs> oh my goodness. You ladies disgust me. But, great one, we, we weren't expecting this. In all the cities we've operated, we have never been challenged. No one has done that to us. Don't you dare give me such stupid excuse. You have never been challenged? And you think it will not come one day? Huh? They took us on our way. Exactly. Which is exactly why you should be ashamed of yourself. Great one. Great one, I said it before. But nobody listened. Those girls are connected to a place. I don't know. They are actually stronger than us. Would you shut up? Shut your mouth! Forgive me, great one. That you're not able to understand your powers as mermaids of transfiguration? Must not be a reason for you to say anyone is powerful than you. Or stronger than you. Do you know who you are? That is why I trust Lady God. She will not allow herself to be subjected to this kind of stupidity. I am beating my chest to that. That is why she's not here with you losers. Brissif! Brissif! She threw urine on me! She put urine on me! Urine from the virgins! She wants to ruin me. Was she so sad? Tell me. Please. Was she? Please, please tell me. Please, please, can you calm down and tell me what just happened? It was early this morning. She called me on the phone. <laughs> Who called you? Adam's girlfriend, of course. She called me and she was threatening me. But I felt it was a joke. Let 
little did I know that she meant every word. Ah! So you are the bitch. You are the old hag that has decided to take my man away. Right? Who is this? I am your nightmare. And since you have decided to push me to the wall, I will run you out of this town. Excuse me? You are well excused, bitch. Look at you. Your profession is to destroy lives of innocent men. You should be ashamed of yourself. Well, I understand that you do this from one town to another. But I promise you one thing. Asaba will be your last. Because I'm coming for you. I beg your pardon. You are coming for me? I am sure you are not daft. I am going to give you the humiliation of your lifetime. I will take you with every spot of dignity in you. I will cripple your honor and tell the world how worthless you are. I can't believe I'm even listening into a riffraff like you. Yes, you can call me whatever you deem fit. I am a riffraff, but I tell you something, right? By the end of today, you will be on the run. Now you listen to me, young lady. Hello? Who could this brat be? I took the threat as nothing. Then boom, I ran into troubled waters. <laughs> Virgin. It has the power to neutralize all kinds of evil. So if you have any power in your body right now, trust me, darling, it's been neutralized as we speak. You've killed me! You little demon! You little demon of my Those godforsaken little bitches think they can step on my toes and get away with it? No. I am going to teach them a lesson. They have just declared war. War? Yes. War. Princess, what do I do? What do I do now? Tell me. Am I going to die? I do not want to die, please. Is she going to ruin me? Talk to me, please, Priestess, please. Go in and wash yourself. Clean yourself of this humiliation. Oh. And come back and join us. The, the bathroom is on your left. You can use this. We have to put our heads together and find a solution to this problem. <laughs> We have to give them a dose of their own medicine. I am going to teach them a lesson they will never forget in their entire miserable lives. Are you ready to talk to me now? Are you? What, what happened? What is wrong with me? <laughs> Nothing is wrong with you. Just a temporary ailment. What? Listen, I... I have questions for you. And I need answers to them. Are you ready? Ask me anything. And I'll tell you all you need to know. Okay. Tell me about your family, Adam.
How was she able to pull that stunt? <sighs> Girls in this town are too deep into a lot of things. How come the priestess is unable to see the enormity of this problem? Huh? <laughs> wow. Just one more thing. Do you still love me? Remember how you almost killed me? You took me unawares. And I have come to give you a dose of your own medicine. An eye for an eye. love to end your life but not today that's not my intention because your blood will be useless so Enjoying your own medicine. <laughs> yeah, I thought so too. Now, listen to me. If I were you, I would think twice before coming to me and my friends, killing women is not in our mandate. But if you lousy girls push us more, it will happen. This is not a threat, but a promise. Fool.
I know your type. So after confronting you today, I knew you would return. So I took measures. Just a few things that my grandmother taught me that could ward off evil spirits. Things that could hurt you so badly if you try to take these steps again. Do yourself a great favor. Return to where you're coming from. Now! <laughs> oh, I shiver. I shiver. Wise one, you said we have been fortified by the blood of the devil. You told us you used the words of the deep upon us. So, you told us we have become women of steel. That you have given us the ability to walk through fire without getting burned. You even told us you've given us the ability to snap necks, break bones and rip out hearts without lifting a finger. So what happened? You made all those promises to us and finally the same women came at us in, in a way that made us powerless. And I'm telling you right here and now that you ladies are still very powerless. What are you even doing back here? We you ladies have not done what I asked you to do. And that is killing innocent people all in the name of fighting for love. What kind of love is that? Many people have done more than that for love. We are ready to lay down our own lives for this cause. But we will not kill anyone. Then you stubborn ladies should leave me alone and deal with it. One thing that is very important that you should have in mind is the horrible fact that the women you are at war with has become more stronger than you all. So the mm. most successful fight mm. for victory, for more devouring of men, more money, more strength, power, <laughs> wealth, <laughs> making them dry, milking oh. them, <laughs> sucking them dry. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. See oh, ladies. Oh, God. Ladies, it's been a while. I did this. Tim here. Oh. I wish the mermaids will allow us to kill the female gender. You see those girls? They deserve to be killed. I am actually thinking that we should demand to see them face to face. Oh. I mean the mermaids of transfiguration. Oh. Why stop us from killing people who want us dead? I mean, I don't get it. Babes, 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 calm down. Calm down. There is no need disturbing the mermaids because of some lousy girls out there. All I know is that they are nothing and nothing they shall be. How I wish we have the liberty to leave town as we'd like. I would have say we leave this town to another. Unfortunately, we cannot. We can't leave. We just have to find some whales around it. Let's just console ourselves with some good alcohol. Yes, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. oh, I wish so. we can dance to a music like this. Mm. Oh, they are bad. They show no mercy. They are dangerous. 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 So dangerous. Dangerous. They can kill you slowly. They are dangerous. They are I don't know what you girls are thinking, but I will never, not in this life, not in the next, I will never kill an innocent soul because I'm in love with a man. I'd rather stop fighting and find another man. Exactly my sentiments. Because when it backfires, we will all be in jail. And the same man we were fighting for will be enjoying his freedom, possibly with the same woman. So it doesn't make sense to me. Let's look at this properly. Mm. 
We are not just doing this for our men. Who then are we doing it for? Strange and highly diabolic women have found their way into our city. They are organized. They are brutal. And from what we now know, they are gradually harvesting the future of their victims. So this is a war to save the city and not just the lives of our men. And now they have proven to be more powerful than we are. And the spiritualist we were relying on to challenge them is pushing us to commit federal crime, which will land us in jail. So what really are you advising we do? Because... I know I cannot kill you, but at least I can inflict little madness in you that suits you. Oh, I know that Smiro is incapable of locating anywhere outside the city. Doesn't mean she has traveled. Or could it be she has also predicted my moods? No! Deborah! Oh, where are you? Where are you, tiny little demon that flies by day? Where are you? before the king. May your reign be long. May the peace in the ancient staff of Womongas be with you. Safe. Let's be seated. Thank you. I am indeed curious as to how you claim to know my son. You mean your son Adam? A point of correction. The name of my son is not Adam. His name is Jidofo. Prince Jidofo or Prince JJ Jidofo Jr. of Umwezo. Oh, um, uh, I do not dispute you, my king. It's just that I've known him with that name for years. Unless he's not the one on the picture I showed the guard. Let me see the picture you showed the guard. That's my son in the picture. And I can see you standing beside him. But his name is not Adam. His name is Jidor, for there is no child of mine who bears any strange foreign name. Oh, it is possible that he might have changed his name, Your Majesty. But I've known him with this name for years. For how long have you known my son? Three years to be precise, Your Majesty. You have known my son for three whole years. Yes, Your Majesty. I see. What is his favorite food? Your Majesty. I mean, what does my son like to eat in terms of food? Well, he does not like uh, any particular food. Uh, he eats virtually everything except catfish, chocolate and pizza. How does he feel about foreign food? The only foreign food he eats is rice, and it must be prepared with local delicacies. I've cooked for him for three years, my king. Does he have a favorite color? Black. And because that's the only color his father hates. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but that was the only time he made mention of his father to me. When was he born? 
He was born on 30th October 1984. Although he doesn't like to tell people about it. Because he fears it makes him older. Exactly, Your Highness. Something tells me you know my son to understand. I do know him, Your Majesty. Although we are not married, but I can categorically tell you that I see myself as his woman. You see yourself as my son's woman? Yes, Your Majesty. So how come I'm getting to meet you for the very first time? And why are you sitting here without my son? Where is my son? Your Majesty, it's a long story. I see. And trust me, you won't like it. I won't like it. Your name is Deborah, right? Yes, Your Majesty. I want you to relax. Relax and start telling me that long story. Because I want to hear it. Every single thing you know about my son. I want to hear it. completely gone off my radar. Now this is not good. It's really not good for me. What must I do? What must I do now? Oh. Oh. It's been four whole years I have not managed to set eyes on my son. Four years? Yes. But I don't know if you are aware we didn't part on a good note. Well, I only managed to get him to tell me about you. Although he didn't go much into details. He only told me that he has a father who happens to be the king of whom is a kingdom. And considering the fact you got that information through the mystic liquid out of your desperation, something I understand and will not hold against you anyway. Do you sincerely think you will still remember the things he said when he was under the influence of that diabolic portion? Your Majesty, everything actually ended with a painful headache. When, when I asked him if, if he still loves me. You know, that headache only proves the point. That something is, is wrong with him in the body. Something very wrong. I pleaded with Jidor for when he was living here, to remain here under the protection of the ancient powers of Uyghur. But his prodigal nature will not allow him to listen to his father. Now, you know, for you need to listen to me. If you do this, you are going to be great. Well, that would give me so much satisfaction than living here with you. I don't understand. What are you trying to prove? You know, what point do you want to prove by leaving the palace? You know, for you are the one who is managing the family business and you are doing so good. If you want to prove a point, stay back here and prove to me that you are the best business manager ever. Well, I don't think that is possible, not after what you said to me yesterday. I didn't say anything bad. I was only trying to correct your bad judgment. That is not correction to me. That is you imposing yourself on me, which is what you've done since I was a child. You know, for I was only angry. You were angry. I'm glad that you are no longer angry. Well, I have taken that decision. I am leaving this palace and I am going to prove to you that I am not what you think I am. You know, for I am not thinking anything. You are my son. You are my only son. How can you forget that? And you would remain my only beloved father. The no-nonsense king of Umuizu. But please, father. I am leaving this palace and I am not coming back. Do not try to look for me. You won't like the experience. Uh, listen. There is something you are not getting. And you need to get it before you make a very big mistake. Listen. You know, for, you are not just a man of Umwez. No. You are royalty. You are the son of the king. Leave business aside of him. Now that we don't have priest for Umwez, by the virtue of being the son of the king, you are that priest. Who must continue to minister on the altar of Ogubu, pending the emergence of the priest for Ogubu? Don't you understand that? Honestly, Father, if you were not my father, 
I would have said some things that you would regret for the rest of your life. But for that singular respect, I'll keep it. Now take a good look at me, Vala. I am so new school, so millennium, so international. How can you subject me to your deity, you oh, oh, oh. I am leaving those parties and I am not coming back. Not you or oh, 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 can change my mind. Are you serious? You heard me. He left. And ever since that time, I have not set eyes on my son again. You need to understand that he did not just turn his back on me, the king. He actually turned his back on Ogugu. And he is the priest of Ogugu. I'm sorry, my king. Deborah, I am actually grief stricken to hear you say that my son has not been doing well for himself. You know why he was managing the family business? He was doing extremely well. I don't know the reason that he left. That is the prodigal nature. You know it. A prodigal son will always be a prodigal son. Contrary to what you think, Your Majesty, your son is a very hardworking and a responsible young man. It's quite unfortunate that he fell into the evil hands of that dangerous woman. But I ask Your Majesty, is there something we can do to save him? I need to I need to bring my man out of her clutch. I am in a position to confirm to you that Ogugu has always been the one doing all these things to myself. Even now as we speak, trying to use you to save him. Because it can be seen that you genuinely love her priest. Well, I don't, uh, don't know anything about Ogugu Ango. But one thing I know for sure is that I love him. I love him with everything in me, Your Majesty. Please, let's do something to save him. Who is this evil woman who has vowed? To destroy the priest of Ogogo. What is the source of your power? Where are you radiating from? Do you have what it takes to withstand the waves of Obolofel? <laughs> I sense trouble. Trouble? From where? Has this got anything to do with what is happening to me presently? The useless girl has gone off my reader. Listen, as we speak, I cannot find her anywhere. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what exactly is happening. But the wave that is rising is something that can lift even the mermaids from the depths of the sea. Please, don't leave us scared. We are almost coming to the end of our mission in this city. Yes. There is no wave that could ruin what we are feeling already. Mm. Your mission might be at the verge of materializing. Mine is very far. If you all could close your mouth, be quiet. I will try and see if any voice that will talk to me from the deep will speak. This wave is not just from a masquerade, but from a group of masquerades. Hmm. I advise you all to leave town today. Impossible! Excuse me? Excuse you! Oh. Forgive me, Prestas. But if others are done with their men, I am definitely not done with mine. Why? Because she's in love. Really? Oh no! Not true! If you don't love him, 
Let's go of him. Priestess, priestess, this young man called Adam has too many potentials in him. And he is connected to a spirit so purely magnificent. How then can I leave him? Someone who has something I need in life. No, I can't. And I said you will leave town today. Never, princess. No, please. I'm not done with him. Shut up. This danger is one I cannot wait of. Save yourself from the next battle. And leave town today. No. And you must obey me. If you disobey me, you will live to regret it. Praise this. Oh my God. Mitchell, I am warning you. Leave me alone today. For God's sake, leave me alone. Samuel, I am asking you like I asked before. Do you want me to stay in this house or do you want me to pack my things and leave? Because I am tired. I am tired of all the stress. I am tired of the, of the pain. I'm tired, I'm, I'm tired of loving you. Then leave. Leave, okay? Is that what you want to hear? Leave. What did you say? Pack your bags, your filthy whatever and get the hell out of my house. Leave. Is that me, me? You know what? Frankly speaking, I have been asking myself, what are you still doing in my house? I don't know why you are still here. How do you want me to, what do you want me to say? I, I've, I've said everything. I am tired of you. I am tired of this relationship. Leave me alone, okay? Leave. I said it should. Sammy, are you, Sammy, are you okay? Are you okay? What is it? What is, Sammy, talk to me now. What is it? Sammy, somebody, hey, go, Sammy. Are you, are you okay? Sammy, what is it? Now look, stop this joke. Sammy, Sammy, pick up. Look, 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 look at me, look at me. Hey! Ah! Sammy! 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 Baby. Baby, please don't do this to me. You're really scaring me. Baby! Baby, please open your eyes. I beg you in the name of God. Baby, please. I beg you. Oh, thank you, God. You're awake. Thank you, God. What happened to you, Nicholas? You literally just passed out. What happened to me? I don't know. You literally just passed out. You almost gave me a heart attack, Nicholas. <laughs> Who are you? Excuse me? Nicholas! Who is Nicholas? <gasps> Who is Nicholas? Babe! Who is Babe? Babe, it's me, Rachel. Why are you... Why are you acting like this? Darlington, please. Please, stop this joke. You cannot tell me you lost your memory when you did not even hit your head when you fell. So just stop this. You know exactly who you are and who I am. So just stop this. Stop. Stop yelling at me. Why are you yelling? <sighs> then stop that from there. I don't even know where I am. <sighs> Talenti, stop this nonsense. Stop. Where is Silva? Where is Silva? Huh? I want to see Silva, my love. Where is Silva? If this is my house, why is she not here with me? Huh? I want Silva. Where is Silva? Silva. Darling Tim. Bola kaka ya rabwa. Marapo rapo bajo kumada ya rabwa nyo muizu. Problems may erupt from everywhere. But no matter what happens, the head of the son of a king must never be buried in a foreign land. I see. I see. I see. I see. My son needs you. What? You are that person who is already representing Ogubu in all of this. And I need you to leave this place. Go back to where my son is. 
But your majesty... Uh, Deborah, I know I promised you that I will come with you. But as you can see, this is war. And I am not going to go into battle unprepared. I need to set a lot of things in order. I need to set the Arabinago. I need to set the Kenga. And I must have to consult the Ogubu. The staff of the kings of Umuiz has already risen. I can tell you that. And the victory is sure. Your disobedience is already costing me my connection I have with the lords that have kept me in business for years. Live here once. How can we live when some forces have already wiped off away their memories? They cannot remember anything. Whatever is happening to them is simply an aftermath of what those women did to them. They have taken everything from your men and basically they are just vegetables. Wise one, you cannot allow that to happen. You can't allow it to happen. You told us you were connected to the devil himself exactly. who is superior over the moment of transfiguration so you should be able to have some control over them. You let us set me up against the ancient offer of Umwezu. Why did you open up on my demand? Now the custodian of the secret staff has lifted it up against me. And the waves of the secret masquerade has left me spiritually crippled. Huh? You are spiritually crippled? What does that even imply? I don't want to die. Just leave. Leave! Could it be that Adam has moved in with that witch? <sighs> I'm going to kill that woman with my bare hands. Evil personified. Evil! What did I just hear you say? I'm sure you heard me right. My sweetheart and I have decided to make things permanent, which means we are going to get married. And as a matter of fact, we have decided to start living here together permanently. You and Gould are going to be getting married? Very soon you will not have to call her Madam Gold, but you would address her by her new title, Mrs. Adams Quesele. I'm still surprised my sweetheart is not here to give me a welcoming hug. You probably know where she is. Sorry for asking. Babe! Baby! Your baby is home! One more thing. This is just a tip of the iceberg to the real thing. I assure you that. White witch. I don't know anywhere called Umezu. So why would she accuse us with a link of a place we don't know? What I understand is that that woman is afraid of our ancient authorities. Mm -hmm. I think so too. So if we are going to win this war, we have to forget all these spiritual houses and look in words. You have a point. So how are we going to find this place called Umezu? Google has all the information we need. We'll find it there.
We have to leave now. I do not have any problems with that. Of course you have a problem with that because you are living with us. Can't you get it? I do not have. Why you do? Oh, shut up. Are you shut are up? You shut are up? you shut up? Get quiet. You are living with us. In case you've forgotten, my name is Madam Gold. I'm not to take audits from you or what? anyone else. What is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me. No, something is definitely wrong with you. No, uh, nothing. I have decided to spend more time with Adams. That's all. You have to get over your feelings for that guy. Exactly. You can't be doing this now that we are facing danger. No. For crying out loud. Use your head. Can you hear me? You are free to leave. I'm not done with him. Really? I'm not a kid. Listen to me. I'm not a child. If you can trust me, I know what I'm doing. <sighs> Please. You've gone crazy. Oh, come on, I'm not crazy. You are extremely insane. Ah, she's completely out of her mind. Why am I stressed? Hello? Hello? The king is not in the palace. We have finished with the process, and the king left with your four. Hello? You can come for your own share of the meat. He's coming here. Hmm? And you, Gold, are the one who must be held responsible. I don't understand it. Who is he that is coming and why must I be held responsible? I am not in the mood to answer that your stupid questions. We all must save ourselves. We are living here right now. No, I will not. No, please. So this is why you came. I'm not going anywhere. I told you I made it categorically clear to you that I'm not leaving. What is this? This young man called Adam. I keep saying that there is something deep about that young man. Even deeper than the dwelling place of the moment of transfiguration. And he even promised that he's going to make me the head in that place. Come on, how then do you want me to leave now without achieving it? No. Why are you so daft? Gold. That thing you're saying in that young man is ancient in nature. A kind of goddess. Far superior to the occult. You are living with us. And we are living now. Because it's dangerous for me to leave you here. For you will be a point of contact to get to us and destroy us. We are living, and that is final. But holy priestess, I will. Oh, oh, shut up! Oh. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Calm down. Oh. All What is happening? Why, why, why are we still here? You are still here. Because the ancient staff of Umwiz has come to see one on one, the one who desecrated the priest of Ogumu. You! You little witch! I told you. I told you that I will be back. Who are you? And why did you pin us here? I am so glad you know you have been pinned. I am Eze Jidofa of Umwez. You see, whenever the load becomes so heavy for the earth, it wakes Ibu Kaliyama Wambuta. I am that earthquake that is going to set you free, all of you. On the condition, you will do exactly what I am asking you to do. Priestess, end this man now or you will end us here. Are you willing to do exactly what I want all of you to do?
I don't know who you are. I don't have any business with you. You have no business with me, but one of you has caged the soul of the priest of Obunbu. Jidofo of Umwez. As a near. Listen, I am not here to kill anybody, but I am determined to give you peace, give you legitimate progress. That is, if you are ready for it. But if you have chosen to die, so shall it be. You have heard that young man for a very long time. You refused to free him when it mattered most. But he has been freed by the staff of Umwez. And so shall it be. Prince JJ of Umwezu. Your father is here. The offer has dismantled everything. You know my name. What happened here? Blood happened. You prodigal son of mine. You have been freed by the staff. And you must have to get rid of your prodigal nature and come with me today. Hey. What is happening? What is happening? Hey. What a tragedy. We have to leave here now. Please. Come. What is happening? What happened here? It's a long story. But first thing first, we have to leave this place. Come with me. It's a spiritual battle. Not a physical battle. It's a spiritual battle. Not a physical battle yeah. When power to power One power most power The lesser power For this is not a physical battle Oh my god Thank god you're with me How are you feeling? What is happening? What, what happened? Oh. Easy Easy Ouch oh. Feeling okay. What what happened to me? <sighs> you fainted. You just fell on the ground right here. I had to run and call the neighbors. We did everything we could, but nothing seemed to work. Until a neighbor suggested we allow you sleep for a while. He insisted you would wake up, but he said you needed to sleep for a while. Are you okay? Sama, what happened? I don't know what happened, but I just know I really want to do this. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? She's saying, of course. Is she... this a joke? Are you kidding me? What's, what's the problem? Samo, you asked me to leave your house. I did. I did what? Okay, Mitchell, what are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? Samuel, are you trying to play games with me? Or are you no longer in love with your new woman? New... new woman? Mm-hmm. Me? 
Why are you talking about that? Like, I'm very confused. What's going on here? New woman. <laughs> okay. Michelle, you're sounding crazy, okay? What? New woman. What are you talking about? Nicholas. I honestly don't understand you. Do you think I'm a kid? I mean, the least you can do is not play with my emotions. Rachel! Rachel, where is this thing coming from? Nicholas, if I didn't know you, I would totally think you have no idea what happened before you fainted. What happened to me? Did we fight? Is that why you look worried? Rachel, I love you and all I want now is just to hold you and be with you. I, I, I passed out for two days like this. Babe, don't touch me. Babe, what is going on? And why are you being so hostile to me? I don't understand you. What is going on? You don't understand me? Like, are you trying to tell me you're no longer in love with your new woman or you have forgotten about her? Eh? I don't understand what you're talking about. What, what, what woman? If I don't have any new woman, you're the only woman I have. You, you can check my phone. Where is my phone? Your phone? Yes. Okay. Just go to my phone. You're the only it. one. Open. Baby, you, 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 you are my woman. I don't have any other woman. Who is she? Who, who is she? Are you asking me? Yes, because I have never seen this woman before. Like, this is the first time I'm seeing her. I've not seen her before. So why is she in the same picture with you? And you both were kissing. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what is going on. I don't, I've, I've never seen this woman before. I've not, I've not seen her in my whole life. God, God. Oh. Be believe oh. me, I don't know this girl. Oh, yeah, I understand. So this is all a game to you, right? I don't understand. I've... Babe, I don't understand. Who is this? I don't even know the woman. God, what is happening? I've never seen this woman before. Sam, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't believe you. I don't believe a word that is coming out of your mouth. Leave me alone. Rachel, stop doing this, okay? I don't, I don't know. I don't know who really is. I don't know how a picture got into my phone. Look at me. I, I swear, I don't know anything. I don't know what's going. What? What? Samuel, you are lying. You know you are lying to me. Samuel, you've asked me to leave your house before and that is exactly what I would do. I will leave this no. place. I will pack my things and leave your house. No, Mitchell, stop it, okay? Me. Hello? Listen, Michelle. I need you to organize your friends. The battle has been won. But you need to be freed from initiation into the devil. Um, how do you mean? Uh, my, my man's father is a king of Umezu. He was a person that freed us from those women's grip. He's willing to do same for you guys. I tell you. Um, okay, okay yes. Um, so how, how, how do I meet you? Where do I meet you? Well, the king has just left. But we can meet today. Plan on how to see him at Umezu tomorrow. Okay, okay. Um, I, I will set it up and get back to you. Thank you. All right, bye. Mitchell, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what happened. I don't. I honestly don't know, Mitchell. Please. We are going to Umoezu tomorrow to receive the internal freedom that we need. Are you coming with me, Mitchell? Why 
I'm sorry, Father. I know I've sinned against you. Words cannot measure up the kind of disrespect I have accorded you and destroyed. Please, I beg of you. Forgive me. In disobedience, I left this palace. And I encountered the worst thing on earth. A demon whose intention was to take my life away. And once again, you intervened. And you saved me. I cannot thank you enough. You Therefore, you should not be thanking me. Or rather, you should be thanking a woman who saved you. But specifically, you should be thanking your woman who went all out to save the one she loves. She deserves everything. Everything. Prince JJ. Means the whole world to me, Your Highness. And I'm so excited that we are finally together. Our both of you are together in royalty. Together in love. Together in progress. And I am praying down the peace of the palace. To always be on this union. Pray on the prosperity, the peace, the oneness of the palace. And no matter what happens, demons of hell will not be able one more time to prevail against this union. It shall be well with both of you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Your Highness. And even if they try, they will never prevail. <laughs> Can kill you slowly. They are dangerous, dangerous, so dangerous. They work for the devil. See, all flashy things are good for their eyes. But ask yourself, is it good for my life? Is it good for my soul? Be careful, you mingle without them. Though some come just to help you, others come to ruin. Are not going. They are so dangerous, dangerous, so dangerous, dangerous. So be careful when you roll away. Hey, these women are evil. Hey, their mission is to bring down every man. They are dangerous like blood sucking demons. They are brutal with no good intention. Can kill 